But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. All right, we are live back in our home turf. We are back, back in home. Opelika, Alabama. It is good to be home. We had a good time, but it's good to be back home. You agree? Nothing like home. You know, 17 days of sleeping in other beds, <laughs> a different bed almost every Pretty night. Much every night. That's, uh, that's rough for anybody, but it's definitely rough for me. I like my bed. So let me do. What in the world? That is really zoomed in. What in the world is going on? With, like, why are we so. I know, but so, they, they are so, seeing all of so, our. Everything. Why are we so zoomed? Like it, I don't know. <sighs> Dream close up. Maybe it's not so good to be be home. Um, <laughs> don't know. It's, I didn't mess with it. I, I think the last stream was just me, so I was oh, zoomed a little yeah, further we'll in, you, yeah. and some settings probably got changed. So y'all let me know audio <laughs> video a little better now. Maybe I don't you know. Don't know. We'll see. Ah, uh, looks like we've got a pretty good crew here already. Early over two hundred folks watching right off the bat. Tim with the Hey Jill Hello, pays no Tim. attention to me whatsoever. <laughs> Yes, James, this is live. Absolutely. This is a very, very live stream. This is live as it gets. Grizzly Pig in the chat right now. Chesapeake, Virginia, Jamerson. I saw J Jameson. Jameson. I try to put an R in it. It's not there. He loves you too. <laughs> I Jim love you too, Tim. You, you saw what? Uh, somebody from, I think it said South Africa. Wow. I don't know. Okay. Is that what it said? I don't know. That's yeah. crazy. I'm the authority on whiskey. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take. I own it now, Jill. We'll I am the. I, I am the authority. We're you gonna do the, a, authority. the authority merchandise. Where you go, Steve? Panama City in the house. I have been sipping on a, a few weird things to try to get my palate back because, believe it or not, we filmed a ton of bourbon videos, but I really haven't drank that much bourbon lately, um, which has been good for the trip. Like we drank it, Matt's. On the live stream, obviously, we drank quite yeah, a bit of mints on the live stream. Drink. And then we had a Ben Holiday pick, which we had, um, was there six six patrons with six patrons with us on that one, I believe. And uh, I, let me tell y'all, Ben Holiday knows how to throw down. Yes. Ben Holiday knows how to have a good time. They, um, they have <laughs> the, the most polished barrel pick experience we've had. And by polished, I mean absolute and total madness and chaos and fun. It was um, a lot of fun. That's those are the ones I prefer. Like if it's super polished and like this is exactly what we're gonna do. Those are not as fun as let's just let's just run rampant and do silly things. And their place is beautiful. Oh, it's a great like, place. It's just gorgeous there. So so if you're ever in Weston, Weston, yes, Missouri, go by Ben Holiday, take the tour, have some bourbon. So I'm warming up my palate a little it bit here with really, their soft really red wheat. A great time. Um, yeah, Louisville, Kentucky in the house. Uh, yeah, if yeah. you're going to go by Weston, definitely go to Ben Holiday and check it out. See if you can't grab some of their Rick House proof stuff out of the gift shop. Cheslin is watching from Cape Town, South Africa. Nice, wow. Cheslin. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining. Thank you for watching. From Louisiana. Love the JT. It was surprisingly good. Like, it's not bourbon good to me, but that rice whiskey, I thought it was going to be awful. And it, it was actually pretty, pretty good. Hey. Vegas in the house. Hopefully it's not raining too much. Oh, yeah. Hey, Eldon. We got Eldon in here. Yeah. Oh, I see him there. Um, so by not drinking a lot, right now everything just tastes like rust. I don't know if that happens to y'all a whole bunch, but like this, I love this bottle. It tastes like rust. And maybe rust. it's the Glen Cairn. I don't know. We're going to find out because I'm going to blind these in just a second. We're going we're gonna to hang out for a few minutes. Then Jill is going to pour these for me. And then I'm going to go through and rank these whiskeys. Now you saw the, the thumbnail. Uh, these are the ones that won for me in the underpriced category, right? So under, what, what was it, under 25, under 50, 50 75, 100, 150, something like that. Um, we did choose the liquor lineup Frey Ranch, which Jill's a little mad at me about because uh, we are yeah, very much that. running out of that bottle. You're getting a very tiny pour on Well, then you'll know. Then I'll know I know you can't do it. Um, I'll just give you a tiny bit I might have an, all I, of them. I might have access to another bottle. I'm working on it still. But um, we have a couple of Frey you Ranch picks. you giving that to people or something? Because that one's going mm -hmm. down. What? We, we like I haven't it. had I mean, any in well, a long, long time. People have been drinking. Things get drank yeah, here, Jim. People, people be you. Nothing's, nothing's um, sacred here 
at the uh, Atrium Bar at the Brusel household. <laughs> Brusel Atrium. Um, we, um, we've got another store pick or two here. They're not near as good as this one. Like this one is, this one bats with anything. And if you gave me one of those other ones, I would expect it to come in last. I, I expect this one to come in top half of this blind. The other Frey Ranch picks we have, I would expect to be the absolute last. Not, not that it's bad. I just don't think it would be better than any of these. Mm. S.S. Collins with the $5 Super Chat. The 1920 is my current favorite bottle. What would you suggest for my, old, my next old Forester? So if you had the 1910, which is like a double oaked, um, I like the Statesman. Um, so you, you're starting with the high proof one, right? Explore some of that other series. I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by all of those. If you get lucky enough to find like one of the 117s, the high angel share, or some of those more limited stuff, those are even better, but they're next to impossible. Someone said earlier that my mic was low. I don't yeah, know I, really I just talk not. really loud. Yeah, I think that's it. So I like there's just no way to like move it up closer to your pie hole. My, it's right here. It, <laughs> How just, much just, closer it, can it, I get? Closer to the pie hole. Without like putting it right Beach Sand uh, with the five dollar super chat. Love your content. Appreciate the support there, Beach Sand. Just you're just gonna hold it. You're gonna, we're just gonna do some ASMR stuff. <laughs> yeah. In this corner, we're going to have Old Forester 1920. See, you have Maybe a better voice than I don't have. I, I don't sorry. have the radio voice. I'm, sorry, I'm very gifted. I, you are very, you know, gifted. very gifted, and I, I don't have that by being extremely loud. I, the Wild Turkey 101 is good. I just the proof is gonna cost it in this lineup. If I'm just being honest, it doesn't have the proof of any of these other ones. Ryan with the five dollar super chat. That was amazing at holiday. It was yes. absolutely a great time. Yes. Thank and you I, for joining us. I appreciate you and anybody who who made it to any of these picks. Um, it's but the, you got a really special one at holiday for sure. RJ with the dollar ninety nine membership. Appreciate the support there, RJ. All right, so we're gonna get into this. Our road trip was a little cray cray. Um, we're trying not to open any of the bottles. I did buy somewhere along the lines of 50 bottles, I think, 40 to 50 bottles on our 17-day road trip. Yes. It was Went bourbon hunting about nine times, um, and we ran out of space. Yeah, we definitely ran, ran out, out of space. Of space. But I, when those bourbon hunting videos come out, we will try some of those. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I may want to pop, I don't know if I brought them down. They're probably in yonder somewhere. I brought most of the boxes down. Yeah, no, I've seen the boxes. I just didn't get out the holiday stuff. I was going to uh, maybe yeah. try the Rick House proof. Uh -huh. um, but Alan with the nine ninety nine super chat. Are those memberships or super chat? I guess they're super, super chats. Chat. So RJ's with a super chat as well. Appreciate the, the support. the first one Ah, Alan. nice. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it, Alan. Appreciate it, RJ. Keep about to land a sure. job in Auburn, where's a good spot in Opelika? If you're talking about, what to are you live. talking about? You're talking about to live, you're talking about to eat, you're talking about to <laughs> buy bourbon. Um, probably, there are none of the buy bourbon. Um, some good restaurants, a lot of great places to live. Um, if you're going to buy good bourbon, you're going to go over to Columbus or get, your, get an Alabama ID real quick or a bill or something in your name and go to the Alabama drops they have every month, the state drops. The lights flashing for a donation is cool. Thank you, Aaron. We want to do more. We've got a new studio we're working on. I thought the guy would be here today. He was not, such as life on things like that. But um, we're hoping within three weeks that studio is done and I can start setting up. So hopefully next month, toward the end of next month, we'll have that studio set up. And I'm going to try to do more. Like I, We're going to try to do lots of fun things y'all can do. Like maybe shoot f confetti at Jill or something. I don't. I, <laughs> okay. maybe, we may not be able to go that far. Black CTS. Dustin, of course, man. It's been a long time since you moved up to the Atlanta area, right? Or you went to um, not LaGrange, not Atlanta. What's the one right there? Noonan. Noonan. There you go. Move to Noonan. It's good to stop. Me. It's good to not see. It's good to see you in here. But do you still have the V? Thoughts on Pinhook High Proof? I, I mean, I like the Fruit Forward bourbons. I don't think I've had a High Proof Pinhook. Um, I did try, I was with them with their blending for the eight-year release they're about to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the pinhook profile that they go for, it's not my profile necessarily, which is like the fruit forward stuff, but I, it's still good whiskey. It's still really good MGP juice if you like MGP whiskey. Reagan wants us to say happy birthday, Colby. So Colby, hope you're having a good birthday and haven't got too old. 
<laughs> Confetti would be messy. Yeah, nobody's going to clean it up. That's the problem. It'd be fun. Then it's just going to be here forever because I'll just have It'll a confetti just be all carpet. Over the bar with I will like never bourbon pick it up. spilt on yeah. it. Seventeen ninety two is pretty good. I did buy a wall cut, um, which is made by seventeen ninety two for Total Wine as well. I'm looking forward to trying that one in a blind here soon. Bruiser Will in the house. Hello, William. Alabama Monthly is this weekend. I haven't even checked it. Like, what are they dropping? I don't even know. Like, that's. I've been gone for 17 days. I didn't even know. I knew the quarterly lottery. I think it today may be the last day to register for it or something. Oh, um, ooh, so, I haven't done that. You haven't should, done it. I should have. Jill, I asked her. I'm She's sorry. like, I'll do it. She I didn't do it. She doesn't, do care. it. she doesn't care if I get good bottles of whiskey. I do care. She doesn't care. I just forgot. Not at all. I Big forgot. rye guy, the new potato will be toasted. Rye is a must try. That's a good poem. Um, I think I have. Let's try it. I think I have one. I think I have one. While we're killing time here. A Penelope? I th toasted. No, uh, is that the, that's not the rye. I don't know. It's a barrel strength toasted from Total Wine. It's got a similar label. This one's not the rye either. I've seen the rye, but apparently I don't have it. Don't so have the rye. I thought I had it. Maybe. Ten or so drop it in the monthly Alabama drop. Yeah, it, usually it's Blanton's, but I haven't seen what else. What's my go-to beer? Uh, if I'm just chilling at the house watching a football game, Coors Banquet. Keep it simple. Uh, if I want something a little fancier, maybe like a Boy, Cigar it. City Maduro. <laughs> Blue Moon on Draft's good. I don't drink it as much as Jill does, but it's good. Hardens Creek, and give us your review. I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, I like Clyde Mays, RJ. I like it. At Holiday on Friday and did a tour with the same person you did. She said it was fun. The pick was fantastic. She was Tim. awesome. And she she was great. Like we had the whole staff there pretty yeah, much. Was, I mean, they rolled out the red carpet for us. And that the clout, like our clout level, at least my my understanding of our clout level went up a little bit. Jill had to bring me back down to earth <laughs> this weekend. So Big Yingling guy. If, if I go to the store and I can't get if I can't get a Coors banquet. I'll probably just go with a Yingling. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I like the old Ezra 7. It's a good bottle. Jill likes the higher proof old Ezra stuff as well. You remember the yes. master distiller I like stuff? I that one. James says, I drink Jack Daniels. Is that your beer of choice? Jack Daniels? Jack Daniels. <laughs> Colt 42. Uh, I have tried a Black and Tan. It's been a while though. I, Cole, I don't have a go-to cigar. I'm not a cigar. I'm trying to get into it. I'm smoking a little bit every once in a while. Jill doesn't like me to do it, so... You know, I'm 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 tiptoeing. I'm tiptoeing. I don't have a. I'm not sophisticated enough to 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 have one. Jill, it is beach sand. It is. That's what Jill's here for. That's just to keep I'm me here. in line. And that like tomorrow, like tomorrow is technically our. It's our anniversary. We're having a party later on, but tomorrow is our actual anniversary. And do you know what he's doing for me? It's so sweet. I'm buying you a barrel of whiskey. He's taking me on a barrel pick for our anniversary. <laughs> taking, yep. That's what I, I, I got know, you a 13th I, Colony's cash drink I pick know, for your anniversary, I, babe. Thank you. And then so you're like, much. I don't know if I want to go, you know. Yeah, I'm going though. I'm going. Yes, quality time. Yep, that's what I, what <laughs> else could a girl time. want than a barrel of whiskey? Yes. You won't get it for a few for months. For our 25th wedding anniversary, we're going to go pick out a barrel of. The 25th whiskey. is the whiskey anniversary. It's the whiskey anniversary. I think I read that in a book sometime. I bet you did. Yep. Did you write it down in the book and then read it? I didn't. I don't know how it got there, Jill. Mm -hmm. It wasn't in my handwriting, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> with this barrel, uh, I thee wed. Uh, we'll take the hoops off with this ring. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the whiskey will leak out. Then someone said, tell them that we need a custom anniversary label. Label. Yep. Oh, we'll have That'd to do be that. Cool. We'll have to do Oh, so I. They asked me today what labels to put on the holiday barrels. Mm. Now, we, we were going to do Jill's mistake on one of them. I know. We didn't do it. I didn't do it. Good. You may change it? I can. So the wheater, the first one we did that you just nailed. I nailed it. Oh, I nailed it. That one's going to be the proof queen. Oh, we did like put that. hand selected by the proof queen. And then the second one is just a bruise. Yeah. The second Appreciate one, it, I, I'm not... Um, Proud of. Yep. Yeah. Big Bruzel Tater. I'm king. That is, I'm the Tater King, baby. The Tater King. 
have many more happy years. Oh, I'm going to be honest you. with y'all. Like, I've been married for 25 years, and I can honestly say, without a doubt, these have been the worst years of my life. I mean, I'm married at 18, baby. I had no responsibility. Like, I, I didn't have any bills, nothing before this. <laughs> like, it's hard to compete with that, you know? Oh, my goodness. You are horrible. Right. Like, I was 18. I understand. My back eight. didn't hurt, <laughs> you know? I could walk, I could run up those stairs. Like, it was wonderful. <laughs> So you could play basketball? I, you could. I was actually pretty good at it. Um, <laughs> you wasn't expecting that, Chris. Um, I have had the Sinatra. We got a bottle. It's pretty good. It's what Jack Daniels used to be in like the when Sinatra drank it, right? <laughs> and it was shovel. <laughs> yeah. He are, um, and there's no shovel to that one. It was just like, I don't know. He he dug that one so fast I couldn't even think of anything to say. Yep. So, Mr. Mickey, we don't right now, we're working on that. Um, we're changing up our ranking system. I filmed a bunch of reviews for patrons. We're going to start dropping reviews for patrons only, so we don't have to put as much time into editing or polish. We just want to do quick and dirty reviews. We're going to try to blast through a bunch of them um, as, as, you know, as time permits. I, I hope to film a few. I think I've got a, a rough grading system down that I want to use, something much simpler than we were trying to do when we were overcomplicating it. But really, long term, we're building an app, and all of those will live in the app. So I'm supposed to have some conversations later this week with my app designer. We've brought in a backup person that is going to help design and build it. We think we could accelerate that some, so it could come. Like, I was looking at maybe mid-next year. Looks like we might be able to do a little faster than that. Um, if things work out, we'll see. But we are working hard on the app. So, And that's where they'll all go when it's all said and done. Come back to Indy for a hunt video. I'll, I, well, I, I may be up there for PRI next year for the, the racing conference. So we'll see. Uh, chaos, I don't. That is that is a chaos question. I like it. Um, how a many lot. bottles do you think I own, Jill? A lot. I'd you, say. Throw a number. 500. Oh, you're, no, you're, you're absolutely right. It's definitely that. <laughs> Which means it's more. I, I, I don't know. Last, <laughs> Which means it's way more. Last time that. I counted, it was 350 and. We just bought 50 on the road trip, and I, well, I mean, if, are, am I counting moonshine? Because, like, Sugarland just sent us, like, 10 bottles. They sure did. Like, it just, like, they just keep stacking up, man. Oh keep goodness. stacking up. So, appreciate it, Todd. What's up, Mulu, Muluite? Muluite. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. I, so uh, I can't keep up with all of the, and the comments move so fast. I, we're going to miss some. I did want to say, Noah was the first-time commenter. Estimated price for Jack Barrel. Single barrel strength. Barrel, barrel. For who? Where? Noah. He's the first time commenter. Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. down, 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 down. down. Oh, I go. Uh, 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 oh, there right go. there. First time commenter. Estimated price for a Jack single barrel barrel strength. I see them all over the place, honestly. Um, and it's been a little while since I've bought one, but, you know, 80 ish dollars up to over 100 depending on where mm -hmm. I see them at. Jeremy's a new follower. Love the channel. Appreciate it. Um, thanks, Dustin. I didn't see whether I, I may have missed the Noonan. You're now in Melbourne, Florida. The V is gone. Okay, I see that mm. now. Well, that sucks, man. That was a nice car. Uh, I have tried Long Branch. Not a huge fan. All right, all right, Melbourne, all right. Florida. Yeah. That's where Nat's mom moved. Nat? Natalia. Okay. Uh, when am I coming to Chicago? Unknown. We're trying to work on some things there. It's not moving real fast, so don't know. Mash the like button, Bob, calling for the like button hits. I love it. Do that. Appreciate it. All right, so Jill, you wanna you wanna pour these um, I will here and just it. yeah, we, we're about what twenty minutes in so far. I don't know. So pour these for me. Uh, Y'all gonna blind these? I'm gonna go in yonder. Uh, I'm gonna right. mute myself so y'all can't hear me just moan and groan about the whole process and how long she's taken. <laughs> or maybe I should. How do, can I even tell if I'm mute? See, the problem here is, is I don't know. Can test. you just? Take Test. it with you, Test. or I, leave it here. I think I'm, I think I'm muted because I can only hear on yours now. So can y'all hear? Like this shows me no representation on whether or not I'm muted. I tell you what, I'm. He's do. muted. I'm muted. You're muted. Good. It's working. Yeah. Okay. Yes, oh. Smokey, keep him entertained, Jill. Oh, yeah. Keep him entertained. You got to keep the pace up, Jill. Okay. Well, I don't have the pace that you have, darling. Right so down, right down, right down your order here. I got it. Okay. I got. I know what I'm doing. He thinks I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. All right, are you gone? Yes, ma'am. Shut the door. All right, now let's see. 
Which ones are we gonna pour in where? And I'm really upset about this Frey Ranch situation. So I don't know if I should just like pour very small amounts of all of them. So I don't have to give him all the Frey Ranch because that is gonna be gone in like a week with that amount left. I'm not happy about that, Thomas. All right, so that one is, all right, so. Okay, moving on. We're gonna mix it up so he doesn't have any clue. I told him I saw on, um, I was doing some research for the meetup that we're trying to plan. And I found the Glen Cairns that are colored, like they're different colors, so he couldn't see in the in the glass before he does the blind. And you can even put letters on them, so we could still have the A, B, C, D, but they would just be colored. They were like green or gold or all different kind of colors you could do. Sorry. I'm writing, I'm trying to think. All right, now, let's go, huh, let's go with this one. All right, he's, he's gonna know this. This is not a fair lineup. Like, look at that. There's no way, no way, no way he does not get that. I would be so shocked if he does not get that. <laughs> All right, we got two more. All right, let's go to this one. I'm sorry. I can't look at the comments and pour. So I am, I'm hurrying, I promise. I am hurrying. Ooh, I wonder if, mm, I can't say it out loud because he might can still hear me in there. Okay, that's enough of that. Look how much is... Mm. Do look at that? That is sad. That is sad. I'm going to cry over that one. All right, one more. And it is this. Yes, exactly. Last bit is mine. I'm going to put it away. I'm going to actually hide it somewhere. I may even pour too much of that. Oh, well. I, um, that one's going into Jill's hiding place. Because if not, because he's obviously been sharing that and giving, because I haven't had any of that in a long time. Oh, there's two of these. Oh, okay, there's two of those. Got it. And this, okay, got it. Um, okay, Thomas, I think we're ready. Can you hear me? You yep, you can come back. You can come back now. All right, so I think everybody agrees that the last of this is mine. <laughs> Let me. Am I we, unmuted? Yes, much louder than Jill now. We Jill need, needs her own bar. This will be Jill's bar when we move in there, going I guess. With Jill. We're just going to put that over there. Hey, did you know that Michelle Pfeiffer posted a makeup free selfie on Instagram? I did see that. Yes. Uh, it's newsworthy, apparently. I don't, it's crazy. She's very beautiful, makeup or not. She's like 137 years old. She, she looks wonderful. She is not old like that. Looks wonderful. Did not pick up. I was looking for a burr rye. Did not pick up any burr rye. Yeah, you um, So let's just slide these. Slide them where they can stay in the frame there, but I people can see in the, them. Or is that in the frame? Cole with a $10 super chat. Going to Old Pogue, New Rift, Boone County, Heaven Hill, James E. Pepper. Wow. On my first bourbon trip to Kentucky in two weeks. Any food recommendations? Not McDonald's. Don't go That's to McDonald's. That's all we freaking ate on this trip. All our kids wanted were McDonald's. That's not true. That's not all they wanted. 
That was all that was ever open. You're right. That's true. Like, any time we would get to a town, it'd be like 8 or 9 or 10 o'clock at night, and that was the only thing open. So we ate McDonald's about 757,000 million times, and if I ever see McDonald's again, I'm not going to be happy. But back to your super chat, I have not <laughs> been to any of those places, so I, I don't know. I mean, I think I've driven through most of those, their areas, but I really haven't, haven't eaten a lot there or been to any of those, so sorry. ADHD whiskey in the Do chat, that. Matt. Appreciate you hanging out. That was a fun stream last Monday, yes, Matt. We had fun. If y'all not subscribed to ADHD Whiskey. You should be. Not sure how you got here, right? He's better at this than I am. Not quite as good looking, though. <laughs> better at the whiskey, not as good looking. Even though he's gotten all skinny. <laughs> all right, so what have we got here? Let's see. Uh, so we're going to order new Glens for this. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. We're going to order, them, like, color. yeah. Because, you know, the Coy Hill in C is pretty easy to spot there, I think. <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything? Oh, this smells so good. That's so freaking delicious. That is so good. Oh, my God. Uh, where would I rank Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel? I like for a Toasted Barrel. It's probably, honestly, the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel is probably my favorite Elijah Craig. Is the Ego Moonshine behind me good? They they spotted the Ego Moonshine. Uh, Lego we, my Ego. We had a little we had a little taste of it. Um, uh, it's it's not, not bad. It's not bad. I was going to film a video. Um, it's I haven't filmed that yet. It's not bad. Um, it's not as good as most of the other moonshine there though. Mm. It's a little gimmicky. It, it's mm. yeah. It's um, but it is it is a quality flavored moonshine. I would just rather have almost any of the other flavors. Right, the the ego thing's a little weird to me. Yeah. It's it's just a little strange. It's not what I'm well, looking you're for. You're not a you're not a waffle waffle or pancake kind of. Guy. Despite what I look like, I am not a waffle or pancake kind of guy. I look like a waffle guy, not a waffle guy. Riley with the four ninety nine super chat. Two questions: Have you had a chance to try nine banded yet? Have not. Uh, what's the best drink to pair with a Hootie album? Hootie, Hootie. and the Blowfish. Ooh, I see. I, who, I'm a hootie and beer kind of guy, though. So if yeah. we're going to talk about drams, though, like hootie is just sit out by the campfire, sing it at the top of your lungs. Knob Creek. You think of Knob Creek Nine? Probably be a good mm -hmm. one. Probably be a good Knob one. Knob Creek Nine. Because you're out there in the cold a little bit. You know, the 120 yeah. proof Knob Creek Nine. That's a hootie and the blowfish kind of thing. You get a little of that oakiness. Your voice starts mm. to get scratchy. <laughs> like I like Start hootie. Like I like it. hootie because. You feel like, like technically, that is not really impressive music. Like it's not. You and you think in your drunken state that you could do that. Like you're just as good as Darius Rucker, and you're like, I'm gonna. That's that's the kind of music I like though, where it's like this. I don't want to listen to Celine Dion, where it's like all technically perfect, and I know I can't do it. I want somebody with a little gravel in their voice, and I'm like, hey, with a couple of beers in me, I could do this. <laughs> Uh, so, for sure. Riley says, best $5 of my life. <laughs> All right, so. I was talking about Hootie and the Blowfish. You were talking about Hootie and the Blowfish? I said, oh, oh, that was I didn't know if y'all were talking about it when I was gone. No. Not at all. Yeah. Wish you could have made it down. Like, man, it's, schedules have just been crazy lately. And they're going to be crazy through the end of the year. Like, I'm saying yes to everything I can, but... It is, um, it is tough to much. make it places. <laughs> it yeah, is a lot. For sure. Especially because we just came home from a 17-day road trip. And all we really want to do is just stay home. <laughs> yep. Be home. <laughs> okay. So my taste buds are a little off today. Everything kind of tastes like rust a little bit, so I have to deal with that. But if I had to pick, that's Wild Turkey 101 right there. Now, it's been a long time since I've had a Wild Turkey 101. If you had a different Jameson, that would be hilarious. That sounds like something Will would do, just put a different Jameson in each one. I do have a bottle we may try here in a minute. Ah, I need to film it first. I got to film it first. I can't try it. I do have a Keeper's Heart Irish American blend finished in stout barrels, but we got to film it first. Maybe next week. Uh, yeah, I have, thought, have tried Dr. Disrespects. The first one I thought was pretty good. Um, it was a little, it was a little youthful, but still a, a decent whiskey. The second one I think is even better, hands down better. Um, still kind of an entry level bourbon and we are doing some discussions to try to build our own whiskey, but 
I got to make sure I can sell it first. I, I don't want to overestimate my clout yet. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Thoughts on Old Forster bottling bond, Schwedy says at $1.99. Um, Old Forster, everything Old Forester is fantastic, and 100 to 107 proof is the perfect proof for whiskey, which makes that an exceptional Old Forster to me. Like, I, I love the Old Forster stuff. Now, with Old Forster, though, I tend to prefer a little more proof, more so than, than a lot of folks, because the Old, old Forster stuff is kind of subtle to me, like a lot of the really good things in it are subtle, so a little higher proof, it tends to shine. So I do like the bottled in bond. I probably just have to pick 1920 every time, which I'm trying to decide if that's what I'm drinking here because it kind of smells like it is. <laughs> ah, week is doing okay. It's first day and I'm behind. So, um, you know, but other than that, it's good. Just been gone a long time. How's the week going? And what was the other one? What's the most I would pay for a Koi Hill? Koi Hill's really good. Jill okayed me buying another one at $500. I did buy another one on our road trip we just did. I did not pay $500 for it, though, so that's good. I paid less than that. But it's, so it, if I'm just looking at whiskey to drink, it's not worth $500. It's not worth $300. It's, you know, I, I, I know I'm the tater king. I get it. I get it. I'm tatering out. But for a bottle I really enjoy, like I think is an extremely special, unique um, expression of, of a particular bourbon, I like having it to share it with people. And I will pay a lot more to have something that I really like that most people will never have just to have it here at the bar to share it with people. So the one we've bought, like this one, I mean, we've had this one for what, yeah. a year now? And yeah. we've drank half of it. And, I'll, and I'd be willing to bet you half of that is like sharing with other folks. So... NPX, love your content. Have you had Booker's Batch 202301? I have not. Um, I don't buy every Booker's. I do buy them occasionally, but I don't buy every one. But I like Booker's. It's just we don't drink a lot of them. I don't want every expression of it. Would I pay two forty dollars for a JD12? Um, I bought three of those on our trip as well, and I didn't pay two forty dollars for any of those. I do really like the JD12. It's like Coy Hill, but not near as high proof. Like it has some similar flavor profiles to me. Um, but 240 is a bit steep for it, to be honest. Uh, I think I paid 150 for, I know I paid 150 for, the, for two of the ones I bought. You can sell a barrel easy. I can do a barrel. Like we're doing barrel picks, Joshua. But I want to do like a limited release. I want to do a blend of maybe five to 10 barrels. And now we're talking about, a thousand bottles or yeah. two thousand bottles, and I think I could. I think That's I could. That's a lot of bottles. I think I could, but I'm also gonna have to sell my house. But don't. So, Charlie's batch is a house. good one. Matt says. Oh. JD twelve to hundred dollars max. Understandable. Oh mm. man, that's got a little interesting nuttiness to it right there, doesn't it? I don't know. The problem is, though, my palate is a little, oh. a little wonky today, a uh, little wonky. So I'm really liking B a whole lot more than I might if my flavor, if my, my flavor tasters were a little normalized today. I'm trying to remember what B is. <laughs> I can't remember. Not, not yeah, B. B. Uh, I think B's, B. I think B's the old Forester right now. I, I don't know. When I first tasted, I thought it was a rare breed, but then all those old Forester notes kind of came forward on it. <laughs> Sure, that's not the Knob Creek. It could be. Would have been funny if she had snuck that in. You never know with me. Never know with Jim. At least know. she's not like Will putting great Kool-Aid in my drinks. No, I haven't. Although, mm, and that maybe. is that is the uh, liquor lineup store pick right there on the nose. Smells like. Listen, just just sniff it. You want to sniff it? It smells like. It smells like cupcake frosting, like cream cheese frosting. It does smell like cheap cream cheese frosting. Yes. <clears throat> Bourbon Pursuit does do their own blends. You know, a lot of these folks are just further along than we are, right? Like Matt at ADHD Whiskey has been doing it for, what, a couple of years longer than I have. Um, you've got the Bourbon Junkie's been doing it for like five or six years. It just takes time to build up the infrastructure to do that. Like, I, to do those blends, I have to buy the barrels or I have to find somebody that has the barrels 
and that just takes time. I did have some conversations with some of the distilleries that we've been doing barrel picks with about sourcing barrels for our blend, and all of them have been very receptive to it. So what would you pair with Bush's baked beans? I, I mean, I'd put a little brown sugar in them, you know, and if I'm going to pour it in the baked beans, the worst bourbon I can find. <laughs> No, you got to um, have it with If I'm going to drink it with the big, I think Jack Daniels. It's not a bourbon, but Jack and, and baked beans are just good. <laughs> Jack and baked beans. I don't know. Mm, that is delicious. I don't know if I would pick Jack, but maybe. That does taste a little nuttier. Again, my palate is kind of off today, but that does taste a little nuttier. David says, what's the first barrel to hit the Patreon? Oh, we do have an update on the barrel. The next barrel that should be rolling out, pun intended, is the Rolling Fork. We bought a, 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 a six-year Venezuelan rum from Rolling Fork that has been aged for two years in a Weller barrel. And that one has been bottled. Oh, I didn't And they are working on, on that. you weren't on that one. That, that We got that one at Starlight, and that mm -hmm. one's really interesting. So if that one's barreled or bottled, I'm hoping the Starlight picks are too, because we got three more barrels coming from them. Um, actually, yeah, two half barrels and then a full barrel, uh, coming from us, technically two barrels, but three different, we've got a, a VDN finish, which is like an orange, kind of an orange chocolate flavor to it, which is real interesting. We've got a rum agrigol finish, and then we've got a normal bourbon single barrel. Uh, I'm hoping those are coming pretty soon too, because we picked them all the same day. I just don't like rolling for, if they're bottling theirs, it, they may they may get them out a little faster than than Starlight does. The, um, is that Buddy Spirits and Cigars? They said we just did an Elijah Craig Barrel pick. Nice. I can send you a sample and maybe you can do a live when it comes in. Maybe <laughs> just know I'm not the greatest lover of Elijah Craig. <laughs> I don't dislike it. Like Elijah Craig doesn't have anything that's like super off putting. There's just a flavor there where I'm just like. I just, I can't, I can't get on board. I can't get on the hype train. Oh, Blanton's Gold is fantastic. You're right there, Bob. That's a good one. So Shaq Diesel may be a little behind if he's talking about the Elijah Craig. I like the Elijah Craig 18 year. I do. Um, I'm talking about, I'm more talking about the barrel proofs, I guess. Or he, he's talking about the, me not liking Elijah Craig. I like the 18. It's a little too oaky. Every bourbon at 18 years is, but I do like the 18. I like the 18 more than any of the like barrel strengths. So I assumed, maybe falsely, that that barrel pick is a barrel proof. Mm. Um, I did see on our trip, I saw quite a few Elijah Craig barrel proof store picks, but I also saw for the first time ever a non barrel proof barrel pick. Like I, everybody who's ever got one that I've ever known has got them barrel strength. So. Oh. I was trying to, okay. Spider hmm. Grace said, uh, just starting this journey, starting out on this journey, but I really like Evan Williams, 1783. Anyone have a suggestion what to try next? Um, Evan Williams, I'm assuming the bottle and bond. Make sure you're doing the bottle and bond white label. Um, 1792 um, is, is going to be good stuff as well. Um, I would try the benchmark stuff next, like $25, not benchmark eight, but the other stuff. That's going to be kind of sweet. Um, like those others you mentioned, um, but you know, interesting but attainable as well because you don't want stuff that's hard to get. Am I a fan of Fireball? Eh, no, nah, not really. No, I mean, <laughs> we, it's got fine. A lot of we it. drank, we used to drink a lot, you know, I, not a lot, but when we drank, when we first started drinking in our 30s, that's when we really started consuming anything other than a beer here or there. Um, we, we went through some, but do you have a favorite distillery? Right now, Ben Holiday. Yeah, right now, Ben Holiday. Right now, Ben for Holiday. Sure. Loving everything from them. Like yeah. after our experience there last week, loving some Ben Holiday. Absolutely. It was awesome. All right, now my palate's starting to let me down. <laughs> okay, because I'm not He's sure. He's scared. I can hear it in his voice. I'm not scared. I'm just a little. I'm a little iffy. He's unsure about those two. Which ones they are? I'm, I've got a thought. He's unsure. I got a thought, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back through those. I think I've got them roughed in. Although these three here could probably move back and forth. They're roughed in. Where's that? Brock, little... appreciate you making it. 
spoon. Is that the spoon? Nope, that's not a spoon. The Barrel Proof Elijah Craig picks are a newer option. Everyone loves those and uh, will normally pick that option. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, and I figured it was available, just nobody checks that box. Cooper's Craft, yes, Cooper's Craft 100 is a really good, fairly attainable bottle as well. I don't see it everywhere, but that's a good one as well. Um, I haven't tried that, Troy. I haven't tried it. I've seen it. You saying I should buy it next time? Who still calls Fireball Dr. McGillicuddy? Um, Mini Man's first live stream. Well, thanks for joining. Oh, I appreciate it. We're trying to rank a few whiskeys here if you just jumped in. We've got... These are the winners for me from all of the different challenges at different price points that we did. So the under 25, the under 50, under 75, under 100, under 150. And wouldn't it be funny if the under 25 won? It's <laughs> not going to, but yeah, it would be funny. I hope it does. Like that would be the most awesome thing ever. I, I would lose all credibility and I would just be able to drink $25 whiskey and not worry about all this expensive crap. That was really good. I've never the had seltzer it. waters, the well, zero it's the calorie. Cranberry lime. Brooke must have left that. They've one been here. sitting here forever, and yeah. she's finally drinking them. Well, I drink these normally, but those I never had the cranberry lime. It's We're really try good. It. Try it. It's really good. Chattanooga. I, Chattanooga tends to have a lot of malt I on like it. I like Chattanooga. She likes it better than I do. I mean, I don't love it, love it, but I like it. Clans on a Garrison Brothers pick. Maybe, maybe. Uh, the problem with that pick, again, the problem with that pick is. Not everybody's going to like Garrison Brothers, and so not everybody's going to buy that pick. And so we might need to just get the patron group a little bigger. Um, you know, once we get a little bigger in patrons, it's not as risky, right? There's more people to to take that pick, uh, and and then we could be a little more risky with the things that we're doing, or or maybe go on more picks. We've got 15 barrels coming right now, I think, roughly, um, with the one that we're doing tomorrow because we picked two at Ben Holiday that are going to be fantastic we you know there's a whole list on discord uh and we're expecting them all to start rolling out really really soon we do have one we're trying to coordinate with still austin uh, in the future and then spillway out of mississippi might be setting us up with several in november as well so we'll see would you pay 150 dollars for a weller 107 i would not know rj 100 bucks i buy them if i'm out Appreciate it, Josh. Thank you. The Knob Creek Nine Year White Label. The White Label is the hundred or the yeah, that's the hundred proof, right? So too hot. So you're not ready for the hundred proof. Like back it down to ninety. That's understandable. Uh, I have not got a barrel from Smoke Wagon yet. No. All right. So let's go back through this. Field of Dreams whiskey. I haven't tried it. I mean, the movie was good, if you like baseball and Kevin Costner. All right, so my palate is just completely letting me down, but I still think that's Wild Turkey 101. Is Four Gate worth the price? What, $200? That's tough, man. $200 is a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey. And I like it. The one I bought, I like it. It's a really good whiskey, but $200 is a lot. So if you're just trying to enjoy some good whiskey, don't do it. If you want something that's going to be, once you get like really get into whiskey and you just want something unique or different, uh, then sure, maybe try it then. The 1792 Sweet Wheat wasn't my favorite. I'm going to make you guess all these and then okay. I'll tell you. Wild Turkey 101. D is your Frey Ranch. So A is 101. D is the Frey Ranch. Which is not holding up tonight, to be honest with you. It's not holding, and it could be because my palate is just a little, like it smells like cupcake frosting, but the my palate's just getting every picking everything up a little bitter, mm -hmm. um, a little rusty, and that just doesn't like that whole like cupcake frosting caramel forwardness just doesn't blend well with it. Captain Icicles with a $20 Super Chat. Been watching oh, for a while you. now. Just wanted to send this out to you and ask a question. I know you aren't the biggest fan of vodka, but what kind of vodka would you recommend? Um, I haven't been trying a ton of vodkas. We're going to be doing more for the mixed drink channel coming up. I've When I'm making mixed drinks, I've been liking the like full corn vodkas. Um, what is it? Uh, Drop Is it Drop Time, I think, has a full corn vodka? Uh, I'm looking forward to trying, like, I think uh, Sugarland has one I'm looking forward to trying. 
Uh, you know, they're. Oh, you know who had a good vodka? Who? And I don't. I'm not a vodka girl, but when we went to um, Short Barrel. Their vodka. Their I didn't vodka try their vodka. Was really, really good. Do you remember the name of it? Um. Yeah, wheated vodka. I need that. So Wheatley, um, Wheatley. Uh, I need to try Wheatley too, because that's made by that's Buffalo Trace's vodka. I, think. I can't remember. What yeah, was. right there. Troy's got it. Oh, there you go. A wheated okay. vodka. I bet that's good. No, he's talking about the Wheatley, not. Oh, uh, okay. I don't remember, but it, it was really good. Um, rare breed. But on it's the e. one from um, Old Fourth and Short Barrel. What'd you say? E is what? Rare breed. Our nails, B and C, B and C. Um, that's the um, Old Forester, 1920. And uh, this is Coy Hill. And I'm set with my order. The order's done. So give me A. I said Wild Turkey 101. And it is, hold on. <laughs> the vodka for John Emerald's good. Most people can't get that, though, so I didn't bring it up. But we're going to be using that and some stuff here soon, too. What oh, is yeah, that? their vodka is good, yeah. The Elizabeth vodka, yeah, I think is what yeah, they call yeah. it. Okay, so you said what? What is A? Wild Turkey a 101. A is 101. Okay, so D is the Frey Ranch. D is Frey Ranch. I said E was rare breed. This is where I'm a little uncertain, but I think E is, is rare breed. E is rare breed. And then B is the Old Forester 1920, and then C is Coy Hill. B is Old Forester, and C is Coy Hill. He got them all, folks. It's freaking amateur hour oh, up in here. Amateur okay. hour. You're so good. Give me a freaking break. Now, You're so good. So how did I pick these? Let, let's talk about that well, a little I bit. Well, I know how you picked Coy Hill because it's like the darkest well, of all the of darkest, them. Well, the darkest, but even that can fool you because another one of these was kind of dark. So I was I was a little uncertain, but like this one just, if you've had Coy Hill, you know Coy Hill. Yeah, I mean... That's not even fair. It has a little of that nuttiness, some interesting kind of fruit flavors. To me, Old Forester just smells like birthday cake. And I don't mean just the frosting, but it's like a little birthday cakey kind of... I don't know. No, no, you don't smell that? Okay. So there's like a little bit of like soft spiciness and a little bit of sweetness on Old Forester to me, which I absolutely love. <laughs> like we need an Old Forester pick. That's, that's what we need. Um, and then E is just, that's just, that's just freaking wild turkey. <laughs> the man like is the legend. It's got a little bit of oakiness on it. That's just wild turkey juice right there. This, this Frey Ranch pick, is, the reason it's been doing so well in all of these blinds is because it is so distinct. Like it literally smells like frosting and it tastes like, kind of like frosting and caramel. Just like, it's a dessert. But... With my palate like it is today, where everything's skewing a little oakier, I just didn't love it. Mm -hmm. And then this one just has the lowest proof. It tastes like wild turkey and it has the lowest proof, which the wild turkey 101 stood very little chance, but it's 25 freaking dollars. Uh, um, I would say out of this, to me, the big winner is the Old Forester 1920. Like that is just a delicious bottle of whiskey. And what's and the it's price under on that? What now? It's, it's under, it won the under 75. So I, oh, I want to okay. say it's like 60 ish dollars most places. And that is just a delicious, delicious bottle of whiskey. Well, there you have it. If you get an old force to pick, so thoughts on 13th Colony. So, Bourbon Hunt, we're at 13th Colonies tomorrow. I got to be there at noon central time, 1 o'clock eastern, to do a barrel pick. We're going to have them. to call so, it the anniversary pick. I like their whiskey. The an it's going to have to be... I mean, it's actually on our anniversary. The anniversary pick. So the 25th. 25th. That's what we're gonna, we're, it's going to be the 25th Colonies pick is what it's going to be. <laughs> um, so I, I like their whiskey. The whiskey's good. The rye's good. I'm, I'm not a, as big a fan of their rye as I am their bourbon. The cash strength, I have a cash strength store pick um, that someone brought me to try that is really good. Like, I like it at higher proof. And so I'm excited about this pick. 1920s, it can't be a sleeper at this point, can it? Like, come on, this can't be a sleeper. That's just a freaking good bottle of whiskey. Um, cinnamon Red Hot's on the palate from Coy Hill. Uh, yeah, I can, I can see. Just, I see where you get that. I can see where you get that. I wouldn't call it that. Like, the, to, yeah. me, to me, it's a little bit of that, though. So I, I'm just, I'm picking that up as oakiness. But I can see where I'm getting that kind yeah. of. 
where I'm getting like a little bit of, of oak and fruit, how that could be taken as cinnamon. Mm. I, I could see that for sure. Yeah. Because I think like even in that first pick we did at Ben Holiday, I think I was going between two. because And one of them was just because it, it, it wasn't as high proof, but it kind of, it tasted that way because of the cinnamon. It, there's some cinnamon. Yeah, it had a little more just, oakiness yeah. to it. Yep. So I don't get it as oaky though. Jill's thoughts on the 1920. I don't know if you've ever had 1920. Jill's not drinking this yeah. evening, so uh, she is just here for moral support <laughs> and to pour these for me. So, so I've never had the unfortunately, 1920. Unfortunately, I can't. 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 Sorry. I um, will. I will fulfill that later on. She'll do it. She'll do it in the future. I, yeah, in a future live. Because <laughs> you're making it sound like it's really, really. It's good. It's a really good whiskey. You will. You'll like. Is it be? I, yes. You may just pour a little, little no, no, bit. No, 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 okay. No. Keep your eyes open for that Western Sun is doing in Texas. They make the best Texas vodka and release their first batch of single barrel it bourbon. It smells really I'll good. I'll keep an eye out for it, for sure. Um, I don't know if I've tried the Founders 11. I do have a couple, maybe a few Chattanooga Founders. Um, it's just like everybody has a different palate. And so I just don't, I don't know if it's the pot still. I don't know if it's the high malt. I don't know if it's the combination of the of both of those, to be honest with you. But it's kind of like Detling. It, it's a fine whiskey. Like I can I can try it. I can respect it. I know a lot of people will like it, just like Detling, right? A lot of people will like that whiskey. It's a quality whiskey. There's nothing about it that's like, oh my God, they cut any corners. Like they make a good whiskey. It's just not to my taste buds. SS Collins, I took a picture of that so I can remember it next time. I will I the will fulfill that. Yes, okay. I will fulfill that. Uh, Super chat on another stream. I promise. I, I'm going to remember it. Cameron with the $2 super chat. Thoughts on High West? Love their campfire blend. Uh, most of the High West stuff I've had, I really liked. Their normal bourbon, it's not great. But honestly, it's just a shelf bourbon. Um, their Barai, last time I had it, was fantastic. Midwinter Night Dram is really good. I tried one when I was at the Willet um, Barrel Pick. They had like a bar upstairs that just had like a bottle share, like people that just brought and left bottles. And they had, I don't know if it's the campfire, but they brought something that was just cinnamon graham cracker they had on that bar that was really, that really good. good. Yeah, it was it was actually really good. Look for RD1. I bought an RD1, Bob, um, but it's an Amberana finish RD1. So I got their Amberana finish. I'm not going to like it. I'm just going to tell you that, that I'm not, I'm, I'm waiting till that video comes out. It's one of the Michigan bourbon hunts. Um, I, I just know I'm not going to like it. Now I heard it's really subtle mm. and it might be, I might be okay with it. We'll see. But Amberana is just super strong. Alex is from, or watching from Nicaragua. Wow. Awesome. That would be fun. Thank you. Uh, the Statesman's really, like everything Old Forster's good. Old Forster does not make bad whiskey. It doesn't happen. William says we only have 196 likes. And there's 630 people watching right now. It's, <laughs> I see 241 likes. It's still pretty shameful. It's still pretty bad. But, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. We probably just call the stream I'm at this sorry. point. We'll just go sulk and cry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like you. You like me? I like uh, Somebody asked about the, my favorite Bellmead, and I missed that question a little while ago. Uh, the Bellmead Special Reserve is my favorite Bellmead. The, the, now, I haven't had the cash strength, the previous version. I was just drinking it at the 109 proof, but it's really good. Um, have we visited Bardstown? I've been through there. I haven't stopped, but we are planning on trying to get up to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival the 15th, 16th, and 17th of next month. So uh, we'll try to do that. Uh, do I have any, the, like, Tyler thinks I'm a professional here. He's like, do you have any specific food you like to eat to prep and optimize your palate before you're he tasting? He's not a professional. He, yes, he Dude. ate um, a barbecued baked potato yeah. tonight in prep for this live so, stream. This guy thinks I'm Tiger Woods or LeBron James, <laughs> but I'm John Daly. Like, I just, I smoke a pack of Marlboro and I hit a, hit a fifth of Jack Daniels and then I just show up to play a game of golf, right? No, you don't do that. No, but... I get uh, it. You're unprepared. I'm just saying, I just roll with it. Like, I just got the talent to overcome. I'm Johnny Manziel, which is great till I hit the NFL. Works for me in high school, works for me in college. Oh, not going to work for me in the NFL. Probably not. I might so have to get more serious about you it. You can't do your own blend, right? That's, that would be NFL. Why are you trying to bring me down, Jill? Well, you're the one saying it, babe. I have to get more. I'll get more serious. 
We will be very serious. serious when we do our own blends. Yes. I promise we'll be very serious. We will we'll bring in some experts to help me and make sure I don't do something stupid. You're going to need a lot of experts for that. I only need one expert. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try the Rick House proof stuff from Holiday? <laughs> yes. We, um, we That was all we tried. Our barrel picks are Rick House proof. And then they sent a couple of Rick House proof bottles. We did lose one. That was interesting. So I bought Jill a brand new Toyota Highlander, Grand Highlander for this trip. So we'd have a little more room. She had a Highlander. We traded in. I got a Grand that. Highlander, a little bigger. Uh, we broke the windshield twice. It's got two big old stars in it we that are going to crack. It. A we rock did well. Did it. We were we two were in rocks, it. Two rocks actually. But then on the way back, the last day. I'd been unloading. I'm unloading 50 bottles and putting them back in the car every night at a hotel. The last day I am loading the car to come home. We are in where are we are like Nashville. Nashville. We're in Nashville. We are south of Nashville. We are loading them. I'm loading them. And holiday pick was the day before, so they're just in bags. One sitting there. I pick up a, a um, some luggage, and I just kind of sit it in the car, and the wheel hits the bottle. Right at the bottom, like right at the base, like right here where it's thick. And it goes right through the bottle and it just starts leaking into the back of the car. Now, luckily, this thing came with the weather textile factory mats. mats. So we were able to wipe it up, but then it just smelled like bourbon the whole way home, the which was, way home. I thought was good. Everybody else didn't like it as much as me. Mm -mm. Um, but it, uh, it was fun. And I'm, I hate that we lost that bottle. Uh -huh. Luckily, the bottle we lost, they sent two. Now, it was autographed by the whole team there, and it got thrown into a garbage can at a hotel because it had a big hole in it. Yeah, it was broken glass. Got any holiday left? Yes. I mean, I've got their soft red wheat right here. We haven't even opened the Rick House proof stuff. And then we got, obviously, we've got the barrel picks coming. Uh, they're going to try to rush those through, I think, and get those to us pretty quickly which is good because I want picks out to the patron yeah, group. those were really good, um, too. Like, it's bad because I don't want all the picks to land at the same no. time. But, but the holiday stuff, like, on all the picks I've been on, I can't say I liked everything I tried. But holiday, I liked everything. There, it was all really, really good. That's there the was first, nothing bad. That's the first let's just get crazy pick that Jill's been on. We, I've been on a few. That's the first one Jill's been with me. It was really good. Chris says it's a Brusel edition Highlander. I need like a pinstripe. <laughs> yeah. It's it like is. the Eddie Bauer edition Ford Explorers. This yeah. is a Brusel edition Highlander. It comes with like a bourbon air freshener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, they're getting some great press. It's because they're real. They they're, it. they're super fun. Like, super dude. Fun. So this, these are the first people to cook for us. We show yeah. up. They've been grilling hamburgers. Having a good, they got the whole team there. They got a bar set up. They're like dishing. Although the 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 bartender did say I was the world's worst bartender. Well, because you we are. were talking about Jill. Jill loved their old fashioned. I was like, is it better than my old fashioned? Jill's like, eh. she didn't want. She was trying to be nice to me. She's like, eh. and then the bartender's like, I, I mean, I was on your channel. Did say you're the world's worst bartender. I was like, <laughs> kind of nonsense. I I almost didn't do the picks. We almost just canceled it right there. Very disrespectful. Oh, it wasn't. It was fun. It was hilarious. Um, old fashioned was delicious. It was but that other drink. The bar's good. Oh, I don't even know what that was, I don't but it was what good. It's yeah, called, but that thing was that was awesome. Yeah, uh, muckety muck. That's a scotch, right? I, I, I Matt, I couldn't tell you. Oh, three hundred fifteen dollars. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, the, so the that's an orphan barrel, and the orphan barrel stuff is fairly expensive, just MSRP. Uh, but three hundred fifteen is a lot for a scotch to me. Appreciate it, Brock. Yeah, so I, I make okay, t my drinks are moderately tasty. I'm yeah. not good about, like, honestly, they were not as, when she handed me, the old fashioned was good. When she handed me that second drink, I was like, I would never make, this has more than three ingredients. I would it never make really this. It was really good. But you make um, a great old fashioned. I do make I a pretty good old fashioned. Mine tends to skew a little sweeter. Yeah, but, but I love good. that. Um, but no, the, the holiday, you know, they gave us the full tour, got to meet the whole team pretty much, um, at least all the leadership team there. And then the picks were, were really fun. What we didn't do, though, they took us into the cave that had all the finished whiskey experiments. And then we never made it around to trying all the finished whiskey yeah. experiments. They said they were going to let us try. Mm -hmm. So we got to go back. Got to go back. We got to go back. Like, we got to do some. I want to buy a barrel of one of their. I want to try one of these experiments and be like, I need that barrel. Yeah. 199 for a Weller Antique Store pick. It's too much, man. Honestly, the store pick 107s have not been 
remarkably better than just the 107. So if you're going to open it and drink it, just buy one. Find something at 100 bucks and buy that. Uh, dabble in any whiskeys that are international. Not really. Not really, Kyle. I want to, uh, but I just I suck at tasting whiskey. We, we so should have stuff a live from, stream where it's just international. Well, man, scotches, Irish whiskeys, those are all international, babe. Well, we haven't done a live stream with just that. I think I have, but maybe before I you were joining yeah, me. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Old Forester 117 bottled in bond. Um, I, what if I got over there? I don't think that's the, the 117 series. That, oh, yeah, 117. When you come to Chicago, check out Moonflower Bar for some really good cocktails. I'll do that. Ooh. Oh, that cave of whiskey was really cool. That was a cool thing. They had, like, it's literally underground. Like, y'all, y'all got to understand with Holiday. We show up, and they're like, hey, this spring right here, like, they're, Lewis and Clark camped right here, <laughs> and then they wrote about this spring in yeah. their journal, and we're, like, sourcing water from it for it was our so distillery. Cool. Uh, it, like, there's a lot of history there. And so they had this cave... I forget what the cave was originally for. Like, young, young, Ben Holiday, if you've ever heard of Wells Fargo, not the bank, but like the stagecoaches, uh, Ben Holiday sold his stagecoach line to Wells Fargo. Like, dude, dude was, he had some money. He made some good whiskey. I um, haven't tried a ton of Japanese whiskey, a little bit, but it's really kind of malty whiskey, the stuff I've tried. So, Hive, well, I appreciate you showing up. Paul, man, it's good to see you. Old Forster Barrel Proof Rye. I, I dig it. It's it's top tier rye for me. Um, it's not as good as, say, like a Mictor's Barrel Proof Rye or the Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye, but it's still really good. Um, how can we get the barrel picks in Alabama? Hey, the retailers we're working with ship to Alabama. I don't know how it works. They do. So if you're a patron, so the barrel picks we've got, I'll try to remember off the top of my head. I'm going to go through the barrel picks real quick. But they're going to go to patrons based on tier. It's going to start with the highest tier and work its way down from there. Um, and so I know we've got coming up, I'm trying to remember, we've got a Crittenton's, we bought a rye and a four grain from them, which was like the forgotten four grain was out of this world. Like a, one that they just forgot they had. <laughs> we found this barrel. It was an experiment he did when he early in the distillery, like right after he opened it. We found this barrel. It was fantastic. We've got that one. Um, I want to say the rye is a rum finish from them. So we got two barrels coming there. We've got Clyde Mays. We did a bourbon and their rye, both exceptional. Though you could see that that pick in the Talladega video. The Crittenton's video, we're holding until those barrels are available. We went to Starlight and we bought four. So we've got a Rolling Fork rum finished in Weller barrels. They did say that the Weller barrel is ready for me to pick up if I want it. And I was like, how long do I have? And they're like, we could ship it to you. I'm, I may have to pay. I'm shipping that Weller barrel here. We're going to do something stupid with it. So we got that. That's next. That should be like, that should be available in a week or two. Um, they're, they're like, hey, it's bottled. We're sending it to your retailer. We picked a Starlight Bourbon. We picked a VDN finished half barrel. So that'll probably only be a hundred and something bottles. And then we picked a Rum Agrigol finish from them. Um, we've got the two, the Ben Holiday Rickhouse Proof Wheated and um, Bourbon from them. And then I'm sure I'm, I'm forgetting, like I'm, we've got a 13th Colonies coming up we're about to do. Um, I'm missing something. That's the problem with doing it just off the cuff. You said short barrel. Short barrel, yes, the short barrel. We bought a short barrel toasted. Those are excellent. Uh, the high proof toasted, like it's, this is going to be a barrel proof toasted. And then we bought a six-year-old Jim Beam barrel. Like, this is very much Booker's-esque. Um, so we may call it Readers. No? Readers? Too much. Booker's? Book? Read? Read? I don't... It didn't work. That Maybe. did not... That nah. joke did not land. I whiffed completely on that one. Um, we've got those, and I still feel like I'm missing some. Favorite $30 to $50 bottling bond or pre-prohibition? Um... Okay, so thirty to fifty dollar bottle in oh fifty dollar bottle in bond right now. I'm digging this guy right here, like Crittenton's. Um, what is the what was the the Ben Holiday bottle in bond? I want to say this weeder is a bottle in bond too. I don't know what the price is. I'm thinking that one's fifty ish dollars or so though. Uh, those two right there, probably the ones I'm drinking the most of right now, Dustin. 
Jared with the $10 super chat. Thank no you. message like a boss. Moved out of an apartment into a house. When we spent the first night in the house, we popped open a bottle of Blue Run Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey worth the $450 wow. and a perfect celebration. Interesting. I haven't had their straight rye. So only if you knew about bourbon drops from watching. Well, I hate that you knew about the bourbon drops now and I got more competition, but welcome to the party. <laughs> So, Tim, you'll, we're going to do, like, our barrel pick. When we do our barrel picks of, like, both of these, I, Shred, my, the, our producer that does a lot of our content, told me that this was one of the best videos we've ever shot. And so when this is available, it'll probably be the 1st of October. This will be available, this Crittenton's, and then we'll have their normal stuff available. I'm hoping the same with Ben Holiday. They're going to rush that pick through for me. When this pick is available... We're going to drop the video. You'll be able to buy this. I'm pretty sure they have a retailer in, in California, so I'm pretty sure they can ship to California, and I think we'll have some of their normal release stuff available as well, so you'll be able to get it at that point. Mark, yes, said, Mark said the drink was uh, Martin's Ferry, and that's what it was. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Mark from, Mark was, Mark, is Mark from California? Mark was there. Yeah, it's, but Mark's the one from California, right? Let me know, Mark. Mark flew all the way from, yeah, if from I California. remember correctly, yes. Mark's the one that flew all the way from California. Oh, yeah. And I he's was, like. I was thinking of him on, because of the hurricane that was coming. I was like, yeah. I hope he made it back safely. He's like, <laughs> he's like, dude, I, my, my friends are giving me a hard time. They're like, uh, you're probably going to go out there and get murdered. Like, do you know these people? And he's <laughs> like, and I was like, well, you're having a good time. He's like, so far, nobody's harvested my organs. I was like, dude, we're just, we're just getting started. We just gave you hamburgers. We're going to get you liquored up. That's when the or organ harvesting actually starts at that point. Please give old grand, old granddad, I think was in some of these blinds and didn't make it, like old granddad did really well. Um, a lot of folks say our barrel pick, I say bookers, a lot of people said it did remind them of an old granddad. Mexican Mark. <laughs> Blue Run is mediocre at best. I mean, I haven't had their straight rye. I, like some of their stuff is good. I haven't had it all though. Holly Berry says we're cute together. Oh, we are cute. Today. Halle Berry said I was cute too. Did Halle Berry say you? Yes, yeah, that's what she won't quit texting me. Well, darn it. Nobody wants my liver. <laughs> Randall says. <laughs> Luke doesn't drink, loves the content. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Mason, I have a couple of bottles of CYPB, both open. Um, just random luck when it comes to stuff like that, but I do have a couple of bottles of that. It's good. We did the whole Weller blind. I think it ranked pretty high. I forget where it was. It was behind foolproof. It was behind 12. It might have been the third one in that blind, which I'm ashamed of because 107 did win. <laughs> uh, I think Mississippi is on the list. Yes, Kirsten. I think it's on the list. Uh, so with barrel picks right now, all of our barrel picks are going to a retailer in New York who will ship to 46 states. So I know like Alaska, Hawaii are out. There are only two other states that, out, that are out, and I think they're both like Midwest or out west. Uh, I don't remember them right offhand, but if you send me a DM somewhere, I'll find them. Um, we we might have to send the 13th colonies to Sealbox. That's where we they really want us to sell them. Um, but we've got a retailer in Texas that owns a place in New York and California. They can also ship to 40 something states. And there's a lot of advantages to working with them. So we're having some conversations there. And some of the barrel picks we've just done, like the Ben Holiday, are probably going to go there. Um, and then I know like um, we got it short barrel wants us to go there just because they don't have distribution in New York. So uh, we may work with this Texas retailer, which if it works out, may give us the opportunity to do some really dumb and fun things. And I like nothing more. Like all I want in life is to have enough money to do all the dumb things I can think of. Like I don't want, like I don't really want the money. I just need to be able to fund the really crazy dumb ideas I come up with and see if they'll work. And this retailer gives us some of those opportunities. And you'll see those maybe, you'll see some, some tests of some of those dumb ideas in a month or so. The Five Farms liqueur was another standout from Holiday. That was the Five Farms Irish liqueur. It was like an Irish cream. Uh, that's really, yeah, I've, I've made some drinks with it this weekend. I've got one in the fridge right now. It's really good. Yeah, I think, David, I think we could ship to Arkansas. I don't remember the two states. I want to say like one's like 
Idaho and Wyoming or something, but I, I don't I don't remember Arkansas. But again, send me a DM on your state. Send me like go into Discord, post in the general chat, tag me. I'll be happy after this to check your state because after this we're gonna get I'm gonna get on the patron only uh, live chat there. We we've got a voice chat in Discord for patrons. Uh, if you join the patron tonight, just link your link your account to Discord. There should be a way to do that in there. Uh, if you can't figure it out. Let me know. I'll hook you up for next time. Uh, try something new off the bar behind. What do I do for work? I, I'm in e-commerce. We build websites that sell things. So if you're in e-commerce, if you control an e-commerce site, uh, we do a really good job. We do a lot of automotive, firearms, that kind of thing, um, you know, enthusiast-driven industries. And so if you need that, that would be helpful to fund my bourbon budget. Um... Video around Nashville recently and was mistaken for Brusel. You must be that man must be good looking. <laughs> we were just in Nashville too. We were. We, we didn't were. do any barber hitting though. Uh, so what am I trying new off the? Ooh, I do have something. So with the distribution circuits, do you make anything off the barrel picks? It yes and no. Uh, so if we went like most most of your favorite whiskey content creators do not really make any money off their barrel picks. They might make enough to pay for their cost to go do the barrel pick, but they don't really make any actual like money to take home because the retailer takes all the risk and takes all the reward. For us, we're trying to share, like we're taking most of the risk, uh, but they're, you know, they're obviously dealing with all of the legalities and that kind of thing. So by us taking the risk, we stand the chance to make a little bit, but at the same time, we don't want a barrel pick without a good story. Like it has to be somebody we love. We want to go there. We want to film it. We want to do a bunch of stuff and that costs a bunch of money. So if I just sat here and had them send samples, yes, we, we could make a little bit of money on barrel picks, but with us going there and the cost to do all of that, not really. Uh, but it's a reward it's for fun. patrons. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's good content. And, and we get it's to a meet reward. you guys. Yeah, and that's We've like, met some of the best people. On these barrel picks. We like the experience more than the whiskey. And, and the experience is sharing it with other folks that maybe, like Mark came all the way out. He's like, Mark told me, Mark said, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I was like, I hope not. That's awful. That's a terrible thing to tell me. <laughs> like, let's go to five or six of them, man. Let's, you know, let's find some out closer to y'all. Like Mark needs to make it to the Frey Ranch pick when we get out there in, oh, in, yeah. uh, in you know, Fallon, Nevada. When we finally so, get out there. It really is about just sharing the experience. That's that's what whiskey is all about for us. Jonathan, five dollar super chat. I'm late. Going to start from the beginning, but wanted to give my hey. Appreciate it, John. Well, hang out with us to the end, and then you can watch from the beginning. <laughs> uh, so what are, we're going to try? Let's see what we've got. Somebody wanted me to try something new from behind me. Something new. We've got a bunch of stuff we've bought. I do have. We got these given to Y'all, us. Oh, there's too much stuff here. Like this is. Oh, too there's much. too much. There's too, uh, no, there's definitely too much. This is Black Mountain. Black Mountain. I forget who gave us, this was at the holiday pick. on it. At the holiday pick. Um, I forget which one of the attendees gave us these. Wasn't and then it? we got the wow. Four Roses pick. I don't, so we got several bottles handed to us, and I'm trying to remember who gave us what. Levi I also, gave you... The Four Roses? Yes. Okay, so we've got the Four Roses. So we've got a Walcott here. This I just bought this. This is $17.92. I'm, I'm terrible at that. Like, I should I should He's make better. He's terrible with the names. We have some moonshine. Would you rather see me try some of the Sugarland Shine stuff? So Sugarland sent us some whiskey. We might be doing some really crazy stuff with them. Like, we might. We <laughs> might. RD1 Amberana. Okay, all right, so they already want Amberana. That's, that's what they want. That's what I saw. Let me see if what I could find it real quick. Want. This one's interesting. It's 90 points. Hold on, I gotta, I'm going to ruin the lights here. Whoa. I know, the lights are going to look, it's going to look bad for a minute, Jill, but entertain them. Read the super chat. Entertain them. Jonathan Huntley with $2 super chat. How's the Ego Shine? I don't think he liked it. I haven't tried no, I it like, yet. We'll try it in a second. We'll try you it. You liked it? It was good. It's just not as good as the other stuff. Yeah, he's not a big, like, pancake, waffly kind of guy. So he doesn't, you know. Did did Jesse try that one? 
I don't. He he was asking about it. I told him to. Did the RD one get taken out and put back here? I don't know what the RD one is. Um, it's I had it in those boxes. Robert says Fireball but, and Ego Moonshine together. Oh, ooh, I'm not sure about that. We, Lego my ego exactly. We, we might give it a try here in a second. I'm trying to find this RD one. Hold on. It it was in one of those boxes, but did I did not it see it. Yeah, I got well, I got it in Michigan. And so it was one of the early ones, but maybe I'm just missing it here. I got there so was many bottles. One more box upstairs. Did you get that one? Oh, uh, there's another box. No, there's two boxes. I got both boxes. Oh, no, there's the little white box, yeah, right? there's another box upstairs. It could have got moved into that one. It's just bottle after bottle Ego after bottle after brunch bottle. Brunch in a jar. So if you're like needing brunch, waffles and syrup, cream liqueur. It had to got moved out of these boxes it's into one of the other boxes. 40 proof. What does it smell like, Jill? Um, so the RD1 had to get moved out. It has to be upstairs. It just has to be. I don't see it here. So. What's my favorite soft drink? Um, Dr. Pepper. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Lego my egg. Hey, that smells moonshine. good. It's, it's good. I'm telling you it's good. It's just like... Okay, that, that so, smells real good. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 you wait, wait. Turn that light off. I look, oh, it? no, you're right. Ooh. We're like, like Oompa Loompas. We look like Oompa Loompas. No, this smells really good. It is, but like, smell that instead. I'm not trying it tonight, but Just it smell smells that. really good. Smell that. We had so many like smell that. hotel pancakes. Like what I'm saying is, it's good. It smells like hotel pancakes. It's good. Just... And it's maple not, syrup. It's not as good as like the butter pecan, the apple pie, like all of oh. the other. You don't like that one? Would you inhale it? <laughs> What's that one? That's apple pie. It's freaking delicious. I don't. Lord have mercy. How many bottles do I have, David? No. I don't know. We're probably pushing 600 now. If I'm just going to be yeah, straight. Yeah, that does not it. smell good to me. $2 for Jill's not going to drink anything, Jonathan. Not Sorry, tonight. you may have missed that. I apologize. <laughs> for taking your $2 and running with it, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. Wanted uh, me to try the uh, Eggo moonshine? Maple bacon moonshine? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put these on my memory board here. Like this smells My camera. Good. And I will do them, I promise, I will do them at another stream. It smells like vanilla, like a waffle I would. I do not like the smell of the apple pie. If you tasted it, you would like it. And so... Like it tastes, Ooh. it tastes fine. Oh, oh. It's like a, it's like a thick vanilla alcohol milk. Now this is my kind of, this is butter Oh, the butter pecan. pecan, yeah. I love, butter pecan is my favorite ice cream ever. It's thick like batter too right there. Um, so this smells delicious But it's good. Like that smells really good. But it's a little bit of a gimmick. And I prefer. He like, poured it in Glenn. I, of course. He did. He you got to. Listen. Yes, it's, butter pecan. It's Eggo Batter Moonshine. I gotta add a little sophistication, okay? I don't want my Daviston roots to come out. I don't want my redneckness to show a little bit, so I've gotta add a little bit of sophistication. I poured some on the bar, too, if that makes you feel better. Ryan said, where'd we go for barbecue? Where did we go? I can't remember what restaurant where, that was. Which one? What, when we went with Joel and Kelby. What restaurant did we go to? Oh, shit. We shine. were going to go to K39 or something, but we ran out of time, and so we weren't able to do that one, so we just... We went somewhere PK. local. <laughs> um, I cannot remember the name of it. I think actually I'd been there before visiting. When I was visiting my friends, I think we had been to that one before. So we got banana pudding over it here. It was good barbecue, though. You want to sniff the we banana got, pudding? We got ribs. Ooh. Now, see, so that smells like I am weird about banana pudding. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I love banana pudding, just not with bananas. I don't want the chunks of banana in there. Like, just make it without the banana chunks. I'm serving divorce papers tomorrow. I don't know what she's talking about. Jack Stack. I don't Ooh, that smells good. Are you going to put that Eggo in your infinity bottle? <laughs> that would be funny if we had like a moonshine Ooh. infinity bottle. This is what I'm thinking, though. That smells good, too. So we've got, we've got the Weller barrel Thank that's you, had Josie rum Bells. in it coming. Perfect sense to Josie. So what I'm thinking about doing with the Weller barrel the one that's coming. The one that's coming. I thought you were going to put the... the, the, the right Not in that one. Not that one's had rum in it. Okay. So what I'm thinking about doing, we've got an atrium here. It's got a drain. I'm thinking about setting it over there. And we're going to rate bottles. 
and my new rating system is going to be one star through five star. If a bottle is one star or two stars, it goes in the barrel. The whole bottle? Whole bottle. If we if it's not three stars, which is pretty good, like at least a good average bourbon, if it's below average, it is going in the barrel oh, as okay, an infinity barrel. We'll put it in the barrel. barrel to continue to age, and we'll create an infinity barrel of just bad whiskey to see if they get better. So we're just going to set the barrel in our atrium? Yeah. You seemed down with it until you understood that detail of it. Um, I'm not sure about that. Babe. Yep, to the barrel. It's going to happen. Uh, it's my atrium. I own downstairs. Downstairs is mine. Eh, it's part, mine. I gave you all upstairs. Downstairs? Mine. Part of downstairs is mine. yours. But um, I'm not against it. I just don't know how it would look. Don't care. It's going to look like a barrel of whiskey. Put it in our atrium. The atrium's got nothing in it right now. But it's because we got cameras. Well, set all... some plants on top of it or something. I don't care. Can you set plants on top of it? I could do that. Now that 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 would work. It's gonna be a whiskey barrel sitting over there, and every time we have a bottle that is two Got stars it. or one star, it goes in the barrel. And then when folks come over, once it gets halfway full, people can come over, and they can pour any bottle they want, as long as it's not like it, it can be finished whiskey, it can't be flavored whiskey. They can pour any bottle they want in it, and then take a bottle home. So you 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 if you brought a bottle over, you hate. Like I don't know about this bottle, but if you brought this over and you're like, I don't like it. You pour it in there, and then you can whiskey thief out a bottle and put a cork in your bottle and take it home with you of our infinity. Interesting. Interesting. Listen, Holly Berry, I don't have to beg. This is going to happen. It has been mandated. It has not been asked. <laughs> Name it the Dickle Bear. What? Mandated? Mandated. I'm, I'm a man, and I have dated it today. What's today's date? I don't know. What is today's date? If tomorrow's I don't know. our anniversary, what's today's date? Eleventh. Eleventh? Yeah, it's the eleventh. No, it's yep. not. Atrium whiskey, that's what we're doing. How big is this barrel? Fifty five gallons? Fifty three yeah. gallons? Whatever. It's a big old barrel. It's a, a full size. Like we're talking about a full 50. size Weller barrel. Yeah. Brent's only two hours away. He'll come down for the infinity barrel. We gotta get some bottles what? in it. I got I probably got like fifty bottles I could put in it right now. It wasn't something that could happen. I'm just not 100% clear on your vision yet. But, you know, a lot of times I'm not 100% clear on your vision, and you are completely right. Jill so. thought creating a whiskey channel was dumb. <laughs> 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 so, you know. Jill thought she'd never be on this side of the camera of it either, too. <laughs> I, so I, right now, my, my day job, I've, I've owned an e-commerce agency, a small e-commerce agency for like 24 of our 25 years. And Jill's like, you're never going to make money on the internet. That's dumb. Just go get a job. <laughs> so sometimes it takes you a little while to come around. So she's going to have to see the infinity barrel. Yeah. And the that's, impact, the gravity it. that know, it has. You understand that that's how yep. I do. Like I have to, you come up with a lot of things. And until I see it, I can't process it. No, Robert, it has no dickle restrictions. Dickle's preferred. And honestly, though, most of the dickles I have, like, would I put them at the one or two stars? Probably not. I probably wouldn't. Like, most of the ones I have are like, it's. Got, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with, because, like, dickle's one of those where it's a good whiskey. It just has this really off-putting thing. So, like, some folks were talking about the Chattanooga or, um, you know, the Detling. It's good whiskey, not to my taste buds. So I'm not sure I would give it a one or two stars. Like one or two stars are really for these folks are still trying to figure it out. <laughs> so I don't think I would put any in it, but if you want to bring a dickle over and put it in there, I would allow it. That was a really great question. What, what would be the immediate whiskey you put into the Infinity Barrel? Like what are some ooh. of the... Number one, ooh, where'd I put it? I don't know where I put it. Uh, I've got a... I, see, I hate, I hate this question. I love this question. I hate this question. Because what I what I don't, like, we have been lucky enough to build a platform here. Uh, and we want to use that platform for good. When we find somebody that's just freaking cool, like Holiday or Matt Crittenton here, and they make good whiskey, we want to, like, shine the light on them and help them grow their business. What I don't want to do is destroy somebody that's trying but hasn't figured it out yet. So... I don't really want to go into that too much super publicly, 
So we want to do a video. But at this point, there's only 500 people watching. So <laughs> we went to the barrel pick, or the barrel pick, the barrel hunt in Atlanta. Uh, we went into this little hippie-ish store, and we bought, I think they had some Eagle Rares and some things there, and they talked us into a Meta Modernity. Meta? Oh, it's one of the worst Dirty. bottles of whiskey I've had in a while. She was super hyped. Oh, they're doing all sorts of cool stuff. Love them. <laughs> you know? Mm. <laughs> Jonathan with the $2 super chat. Jonathan with the... Uh, so I thought you were about to read it and you just stopped. No. <laughs> handle the dickle. I can handle... I, I like... I like Dickle's Okay. And I think we're going to have the best dickle pick ever. It's going to be the greatest dickle pick. We're going to have the one, dickle's wonderful. Everybody's going to love George Dickle after we do our brusel dickle pick. I'm not trying. It's not a joke, Jill. Jill's giving me the tap under the table. I wasn't making any, like, r racy jokes. I'm just saying they may have us to do a pick, and they may, they may be able to convert me. They're not going to convert me to that mineral flavor, but they may convert me to can they find a barrel that doesn't have it. Can they find one that does yes. have it? Sounds like I'm saying that. That's why Jill started like, Jill didn't, Jill's like. I did the old tap tap. You know, Lord have mercy. Tap tap, Thomas. Puncher's Chance is actually pretty good. Uh, it, you poured right. it down the sink. Did you have a different one than I had? Because the one I had, I thought was pretty good. There's some good, like, Dickel does some good things. So like the um, the spillway pick we have, I think it's a nine year George Dickel. I love everything about that, but the mineral taste just kills it. More Dickel. Yeah, I don't memes. get the Flintstone vitamin. I'm gonna find this RD one, or not the RD one, the um, the Meta Modernity. You're gonna get to sniff that one. Keep them entertained, Jill. <laughs> Keep them entertained, Jill. Yes, Jill does get to add bottles into the Infinity Barrel if Jill. It's okay with an infinity barrel sitting in her atrium where you can see it from every corner of the house. Don't be threatening me. <laughs> so, yes, Jill would get to pick bottles and pour in there. Um, have you ever done the Old Forester 1920 plus 1910 to make an Old Forester 1915? I have not. No, that sounds complicated. He That's like not. two ingredients. That's tough. <laughs> he has not done that. Have you tried Old Raleigh? You know, I saw Old Raleigh on a TikTok, I believe. I've been seeing them a lot. Some of their stuff is really, really good. Interesting. Have you ever had Old Raleigh? I have not. I forgot where they're out of. Raleigh. Is it like North Carolina? North Carolina? I would assume. Raleigh? I don't know. Not all the celebrity bottles will be done. So they're not all twos, right? A lot of them, there's a lot of them that will be threes. Um... But would you grab me a fresh Glen Cairn because I oh, do not want to. Freshity, freshity. I do not want anything to taint this bottle of whiskey that I'm about to try right here, and I'm just going to let the production team here know. That sometimes they take these live streams and they clip them into videos. I do not want this review clipped into a video because I don't want. I'm going to. I'm going to share. I'm going to be honest with some folks, but I don't want this out there into the general world because I do not want it to hurt this company because. I think at some point they may figure out how to make some stuff that's interesting. But this is not it. Mm. Smokestack asks, his, he said his wife is watching for the first time and has been getting into bourbon with me. What would I recommend to her? Um, Wait, just, no, I'm just okay. thinking. I was going to take it. I was just, that was going to be a joke. Sorry. I would say, what's my Knob Creek up there? The nine. What's the proof on that? The, there's 120 and 100 proof Knob Creek 9s. So okay, you like the would, 100 proof better, I think. Okay, yeah. I would say, well, I don't know. That might be too much if she's just getting into bourbon. But I love the Knob Creek 9, 100 proof. I love that one. Oh. Um, uh, let's see. Thinking of something that's a lower proof. What, what do I like that's a little bit lower? There's not a lot that I... Can think of that's the lower ones that I like, but I would definitely suggest the Knob Creek. That's one of my faves. But I don't know what is what is Frey. Yeah, Frey's too high. Probably. Buffalo Trace. Yeah, Frey's definitely. A lot of folks too high. have mentioned Buffalo Trace. You you might not have. Uh, I don't know do if Jill's like drank Buffalo a bunch Trace? of. I don't know. 
Rocktown, new single barrel cash. I need to get more Rocktown. I've, I've got a Rocktown, didn't love it. I think I just have an okay store pick. I do like Jack Daniels. I, I know that not everybody sure. does, but I love Jack. Um, what is I don't know. Think about that for a second. Cole with the $10 Super Chat. Elemental Spirits Co. in Atlanta. I have never been, but I sold them. Their fire suppression system. <laughs> Elemental Spirits. Um, yeah, I, I think I saw some stuff from them on Facebook today, but I don't think I've tried their their whiskey. Oh, no, this is this is Gaga Maggot. Oh, I would definitely also suggest Old Fashions. That's one of the like things that got me. Yeah, try whiskey drinks, mixed yeah. drinks, and then work your way into it. Yeah. Jonathan sipping on a Rocktown. Rock, I need more Rocktown. They reached out, but right at the time I bought some stuff, and I didn't love what I bought, so we never really, you know, got together. But I'd I'd love to do like I need to get more stuff from them for sure. Yeah. Do you ever do anything local like a John Ember? So we were talking about doing a meetup. Yes. And it just does not look like that's going to happen this year. This we were going to do it. We we're found sure a date. We're going to do it. It's just, we found a date, but then there's like a, a songwriters festival here, and it was going to yeah. be a disaster. And so now it just looks like it's going to be the spring before we can do it. Because we had this one date that's not a football game day for, which you know we have Auburn here. So there's like every Saturday is a game day. So that was the only day that from here until the end of this year we could have had the event without it being a football game day. And unfortunately, that same weekend is a really big songwriters festival that happens in downtown Opelika. And it would be like literally where we were going to have the event on the other side of the fence, big, huge stage with lots of music and stuff, which would have kind of been cool, but we wouldn't have had any way to talk or like, it just would have been too much. So, so we're going to have to postpone. First of all, like Kyle, uh, yeah, the, we got this meta modernity in Atlanta at, at some store. Uh, Brian, uh, yeah, I am trying to hold off, but Jill's been talking, so I've been letting her do that. And then we normally just watch the AU games from home. If I go, I'll normally find a tailgate. We have some friends at tailgate. We'll watch it there instead of going to the game. What do you do? Do you need something? Just use your she, voice. She broke something. What did you break? An everything okay, what? Hey, baby. You broke what? An everything bagel bottle. What is an everything the, bagel? The, the oh, the seasoning? The seasoning. Yeah, Where did fine. they all go? Can you sweep it up? Where's the, it at? Everything bagel seasoning comes in glass? Yeah, it's a glass, glass bottle. You want to go take care of that? Yeah. Rocktown took a few pours from me for Like the one I, I got, I, I've had myself. enough people I respect say they like it to know the store pick I got was just a little too oaky. How do I mute myself? Just unplug your thing, hand it here. Gotcha. Sniff this before you do it. Sniff that. You know what that reminds me of? Garbage. <laughs> the Dickel Tabasco. Oh, no. But, yeah. It reminds me of that. Oh, yeah. I see where you get that. Yep. And I don't know if this is finished. I assume it's finished. Um, hold on just a second. Let's oh, see if we can. Oh, you want to put it back on me? Talk. Hello. 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 Talk. Hello? Okay. I think you muted. Okay. I think it's, I think it's, I'll just turn it off. Okay. We'll just turn this one off. I'll be back. She'll be back. So we're going to try, we're going to review Meta Modernity. So here's the problem. First of all, they're in New York. Um, New York is not a really great environment that is conducive to making great whiskey. You can distill great whiskey, but it's really hard to age great whiskey in New York. That is your burden if you are up there. Entertain us, Robert. That's clever. Um, and so what a lot of people do is they result, or they resort, is the word I'm looking for, they resort to ways of trying to age whiskey quicker. They use small barrels, they use oak staves, they use any shortcut they can to try to rush whiskey to the market. Because if you're distilling it yourself, you need to sell it. Like, I get that. And that's why we try to not talk bad about particular bottles, um, small companies, especially not in a video that's going to get a ton of views. In a live stream, a little more intimate. When we do our reviews for patrons only, we will be brutal about everything. That's kind of why I like patron only videos for the reviews. And, and we should start rolling some of those. Now that I'm back, I was gone for 17 days. Now that I'm back, we should start rolling some of those out. I filmed a bunch, didn't like the formula I was using. We're tweaking it one more time before I film those again. 
Um, but it, it, this is just reeks of rapid aging, small barrel, stage, like whatever you could throw at it. Um, I don't know if it's finished. I don't know, like I can't read the little bitty letters on this particular bottle. Oh, God. Uh, so I, like of all of the rapidly aged stuff, so with rapidly aged, I get like too many oak tannins. I get, um, I'm going to need something. Oh. I get too many oak tannins. I get a raisiny flavor. And this is just so much beyond that. Like this tastes like it's, it's like finished in used coffee grounds or something. Like it is just like, what did they do to that? Like I, I, I got to pull out a light. Cole with the ten dollar super chat. Elemental Spirits Co. is where you got this bottle. Oh, that's the place. So I saw an Elemental Spirits Co. Like oh, I saw like they starting to do some really cool like pick. You're right. I, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. You're right. I did see some stuff from like an Elemental Spirits on Facebook today, and it, it might have been the same place. So appreciate it. I got you. Now I understand. Does this, this got to be finished? And it tells the mash, like they're super transparent. They don't tell you it's awful, but other than that, they got the, the mash bill is like seven ingredients long. Toasted and then charred using natural oak flame. Char level number two, notes of baking spice, roasted nuts, caramel, umami. Like, I don't know who gave them those tasted notes because I wouldn't have done that. Um, 36 month air dry. Like, I, I don't know. I, it's hard to read those words, but like they just missed. They, just, they whiffed with this one for me. Like this is probably one of the worst like small distillery bottles I've bought thus far. And I would try something else from them. I really would. Like I, I think they just missed with this one. Um, but I don't know if this is like a special like crazy experiment they were running or if this is their normal thing. James says, drink three more and pretend you're Miss Cleo. Oof. Dude, I saw something on Miss Cleo the other day. Like that's the fortune teller, right? Uh, how do they wrap it? Yeah, so rapid aging is usually either something got a lot of heat, they used a smaller barrel, or they used staves or oak chips or something like that. They, that's normally how somebody rapidly aged. We've got some stuff from Cleveland Whiskey Company to where they use like pressure to age the thing. And, and their stuff's actually pretty good. It's not to my palate to where I just love it but there's nothing off-putting about it. It's, it's not like, oh my God, that's just really bad. It's just, you know, honestly, if you would have just finished it and left it in, in some of the experiments they're doing, I probably wouldn't like it either, so. Old guy glasses could be good. Dude, that's really small writing and it's, it's really dark. Y'all don't realize how dark it is in here. Ethan just caught a live stream for the first time. Dude. <laughs> Like y'all, that's, do you see how small that print is? And all the lights are coming this way. They're giving me a hard time about my eyesight, Jill. Take up for me. What's Jill been saying for a year now? You need glasses. You love me? Yeah, I do love you. I don't need glasses. It's Ooh. awful. Kentucky, like Kentucky bourbon obviously has an advantage because that is what we expect of a bourbon. Um, yeah, just hold it till it lights up. And then, but Indiana makes great bourbon. You know, obviously, you know, kind of South Indiana is very similar. You know, it's pretty much Kentucky. Missouri makes great, great bourbon. Heck, Crittenden's is in Mississippi. Little different experience. This is like, you could try this and you'd be like, okay, that's probably not Kentucky whiskey. Uh, some of the Texas stuff, but it gets a lot of heat. So Texas stuff has to be very careful. So they make a lot of good bourbon in a lot of places, but Kentucky is what we expect of a well-aged bourbon. Hello, Kyle. How excited for the new Maker's release? I don't even know what they are, man. I'm, I'm out of the loop. Uh, somebody asked earlier about the BEP stuff and the FAE stuff. Um, I like the FAE stuff better than the BEPs I've had, although the BEPs were pretty good. 
Hard to look cool when you squint? Dude, I got great lines right yeah, here. we look really cool when we're squinting. I'm great. I squint all the time, man. I have glasses. Uh, Widow Jane is New York based, but if I'm not mistaken, they source almost all of their whiskey. My mic is not on. Your mic is not on. What? Hand it here. Let me see. Talk, Jill. Hello. 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 Let me go look. Let me go look. Let me go look. We got to do a mic check here. Mic check. Mic check. This is live TV, people. Live TV. Live TV. <laughs> no, your mic's on. Is this one muted, though? Well, hit the button. The bottom I don't button? think so. Just, like, hit it. Like. Completely. No, you're good now, yeah. Oh, I'm good now? Uh, can you hear me? Yep, I think you're good. Good now. Okay. Awesome. Sing a song. I'm going to go to the restroom, Jill. You get to sing a song. I am not singing you a You left. Song. I get to go on a break, too. I, I went to clean up a broken bottle in our pantry. Not my problem. <laughs> not your problem. Nope. Do y'all see how mean he's being tonight? going to call you mean, Bruzel, tonight. So y'all can hear me now? I'm good? Entertain us, Jill. Okay, I'm going to answer questions. Spicy. <laughs> yeah, he's being spicy. Not me. I'm being nice. Take over the downstairs, yes. Now the downstairs is mine. It's all mine. Hide all the bottles. Okay, Paul, you're going to have to come help me with that because I don't think I could get that accomplished in the next two minutes. I don't know where we would put them. TJ mentioned the stools were comfy. Yes. They were not an Amazon purchase. No, he got them from some, like, commercial place that makes commercial stools. So, they were not Amazon. I wish they were Amazon because they have these same, like, material and stuff, but they have them for, like, our dining room table, and I really want them. But I went on there to buy them, and then there's, like, a huge delivery cost to get them here. So that was kind of stinky. So I can't buy them because it costs more to deliver them than it does to buy them, which is crazy. Where did you, where did you get the stools from? I mean, not, not technically more, no, but yes, it is a, a significant <laughs> ship. It's freight because they're heavy and they come in yeah. pieces. These are East Coast bar stool, Gladiator. They got a couple of Gladiator series, but like, no joke when I say they're the most, like, I could sit in this chair all day. It's the most comfortable um, office, office, I don't know my office supply. They throw me off. <laughs> no. The most comfortable bar stool I've ever sat in in my entire life. Yeah, oh, it's really comfortable. And that's Hands why I down. want them for our dining room. Yep. But Kyle said, how was Yellowstone? Yellowstone was fun. A lot of driving. Like, what you got to realize is Yellowstone is not close to Yellowstone. Yeah, some, nobody, of course I didn't really ask, but nobody told me that, Two days in Yellowstone is not enough to even try to do Yellowstone. And plus, we put in the Grand Tetons in that also. So we did two national parks in two days. And then we had to, like, if you get an Airbnb, if you search Airbnb and you put in Yellowstone, you would think that they would give you some, and you don't know the area, so you don't really know. You would think that that would be somewhere pretty close to Yellowstone. No. We ended up in Driggs, Idaho, um, and we stayed there two nights. So we'd go to Yellowstone, and then we have to drive all the way back to Driggs. It was very much it was a lot, a lot of driving, it was like four hours. But I, what did come out of that was I know a hundred percent that I want to go back to Yellowstone, and I want to stay much, 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 much longer. Randall's trying to say I should mute my mic next time I go to the bathroom. Randall, I'm smarter than that. <laughs> I muted it and I left it here. Like I unplugged the actual thing. Now you might have heard it because like background noise and stuff. Who knows? Bathroom's like right there. But you didn't actually hear me in there. Like it wasn't my mic. So you almost, normally you would have got me, but I literally will mute it. And then so we've got the lav mics, but then we got this little brick. So I'll mute it and then unplug the brick and leave it on the, mm. on the thing there. So. Oh, no, we had, we had a, um. We had directions, but inside Yellowstone, there is no phone service. Oh, there's yeah, there's no cell no, service, so you uh -uh. can't. Like, no. in places there are, but it's kind of hard to find cell service in there. And 
So from like every place we were in Yellowstone to an exit is like two plus hours just yeah. to get out. And then it's like two hours. So like our, as the crow flies, our Airbnb is not far. Right. If you could but you got to go around the, the Grand Tetons for an hour and a half to get there. So, But in all that, it is beautiful. And I absolutely 100% want to go back. It was gorgeous. Natty likes cheap 80 proof whiskeys oh, under $20 goodness. for 750 milliliter. That's great, Natty. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever, man. Enjoy. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear. Hive with a $95 oh, super chat. Man, if that's a typo, let, like there's nothing I can do about it, but that's so that is awesome. great. Really Thank enjoy you your content so and your Discord is amazing. I now have 36 bottles of whiskey when I originally had wow. zero. Okay, how long did it take you to go from zero to 36 in this? Guys, Discord, probably not yeah, long. Yeah, probably not long. That's, <laughs> that's Nate's fault. That's Nate's fault, for sure. Wow, yeah. I want to um, know, how long did it take you to go from zero to 36? Yeah. Months, but, months, okay. Natty, yeah, months. <laughs> <laughs> Natty Witt, like 60, like, there's nothing wrong with cheap 80-proof whiskeys, man. I would probably bump it up, like, honestly, I would probably bump it up to, like, 90-proof. If we weren't doing the content, I would probably be drinking a lot of really nice 90-proof stuff. Nothing wrong with that at all. There's no shame in it. Uh, welcome to the group, man. You're, you're now a member of the B team. You made a live stream. John says, now we need to go to Glacier National Park. I do want to do that. We actually did buy like the park, like the National Park Pass. Like we could go to any of them now for the next year. So well, there we you should go. go to more parks. We should, we, we're not driving. <laughs> no. I have not heard of Legends Distillery. Uh, Penelope Barrel Strength. I haven't done a review. It's on my list. Um, we'll probably do it for patrons. Uh, long story short, I like it. It's going to be, it, I, if I just had to give it off memory, it's probably a four out of five. Probably four stars out of five, Penelope Barrel Strength. It's a good, good bottle. Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, $18. I, I think it's, 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 it's ish here. 18 ish. I think 17, 18 dollars. Uh, we want to do North Carolina. I want to do the East Coast for all the bourbon hunting. We're trying to get to all 50 states. Um, I don't know. We missed Kansas. We just didn't have time. So we've got a lot. We're probably pushing 20 states right now. We want to do an East Coast road trip. It's going to be next year at the earliest. Oh, yeah. Bob says he finally got the black cap early times. Oh, nice. Is it better? Did he's you try to get stuff? He can't wait to blind it. He okay, has it. Yeah, try it. Nope. And Joey said, next time you're looking for something that's not a bourbon, try Blue Spot, one of the best scotch. Don't we have like Yale Spot and Red Spot and blah, blah, blah Spot? Like we have. I thought it was Irish whiskey, though. Is it? I don't know. Okay, never mind. Is he mind. trying to trick me? I don't know. Because I have been known to call him by the wrong names. Like, <laughs> this, is, this has happened. I don't know. But we Ontario. have something, something spots. So it looks like there's a strong chance I'm going to be in Vancouver in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Mike tried to do, I know bourbon hunt's probably not going to be good there. Like, I don't, at this point, honestly, I don't care if it's an ABC run state. What I want is to run into somebody. I want to have a good conversation. I want to make a nice video. I've got enough whiskey. I want to document what the scene is more so. Like, it's just the experience of the scene. And so I want to just have a good time and, and make a good video. If I don't buy any whiskey, it's fine. I'll buy whiskey in the next state. Ellie says good night. His daughter's off to bed. Ooh, take it good easy. Night. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. Woodenville in Washington. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Um, piggyback. I, I don't think I've had the. Um, that's the whistle pig piggyback. I don't think I've had that one. Judge Roy Bean. I've heard of it. I don't know if I've tried it, but I've definitely heard of it. Toasted pecan. So if you have a chance, the, the Crittenton's Toasted Pecan from Spillway is actually really good. They're doing another batch of that here soon. Fred's a, stample, a staple. I, I said a staple. I can't read. Both Starlight or both. I can't read. Frey is a staple at my bar, both straight and uncut. I get uncut for 75 My mouth is moving faster than my eyes at this point. I have okay? to be your mouth. Frey's a staple at my bars, both straight yes. and uncut. I get uncut for seven. Like, I love it. This, we love Frey. This particular barrel pick is extremely exceptional, though. This one's going with Jill because yeah. it's obviously almost gone, which I don't understand that. I am really not sure how that happened. Green, yellow, red, blue spot. I, yeah. I have some spots. Have I don't spots. know which spots I have, but I do have some spots. I know we have yellow and green spots. Definitely, for sure. I don't know if we have blue. 
I don't think blue was one of them. It wasn't a typo. I just can't read. Um, I have not tried the Milam and Green Rye. West Virginia for a smooth ambler pick. Well, thank you, Hive. We really appreciate it. That was an awesome super chat. I was hoping to get to the Pacific Northwest for um, when I was in Canada to come down. I just don't think that's going to happen. Like, it's a business trip. I've just mm. got to be there for like one day. I just don't think. I was trying to talk Jill into going with me. She's declining because she doesn't want to travel with me. That's she not like, true. She doesn't like me that much. That's not true. I cannot so, go then. If you could push it back a week, I could go. I've not tried the Walcott. Fresh Glen Cairn, this is the last pour of the evening. We've got just a few more minutes. At the end of this, again, we've got a bunch of barrel picks coming for patrons. Um, those, I know that Rolling Fork Rum, six-year Venezuelan rum, finished in Weller barrels. This has got a thick plastic. Hand me the, you see the bottle opener right, ne right next to the Betty Crocker Quick Whip over there? Uh, it's got a little knife on it. So we've got that coming in the next week or two. We've got, I don't know, 12, 15 other barrel picks already chosen that should be coming as well. Uh, if you happen to be a patron and you haven't connected it to Discord, when I am done with this live stream, I'm going to go over to Discord for really patrons and channel members. If you're a channel member here on YouTube, you'll just have to hit me up. I'll add you in there. Um, and then we will just have a voice chat for, for supporters. So y'all be able to talk to me. Y'all be able to do all the talking. I'll just do the listening. Hi, says, what are your thoughts on Garrison Brother Guadalupe? Um, I, somebody sent us the sample. I think Guadalupe were in the Garrison Brothers samples we've had. I don't recall. Um, I like Garrison Brothers stuff, but it's a, it's an experience and I got to be in the mood for it. Um, well, we definitely, yes. Oh, I don't know when the Still Austin pick's happening yet. We're having to delay it because I'm trying to get certain people there for that pick. And so I'm trying to work around their schedule. Good night, Damon. Doc Swanson is on the border of Canada and Washington. Interesting. Oh, I didn't I realize go that. We up there so bad. We never, we went up the West Coast, but we didn't make it. Well, you made it up to San Francisco, right? You went up there. Where, no, where's, it was. We were in Silicon Valley for sure. We yeah, were in the you Valley. Were in the, I was. I didn't make it all the, way, all the way. Yeah, but yeah. Is Jill your daughter? Is Jill my daughter? Come on, Steve. Steve. Come on, Steve. quit trying to get brownie points. Quit hitting on Jill, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Oh, <laughs> no. Garrison got there. That's the problem too. Garrison's kind of expensive. Uh, you don't want a video where I hunt opal. Do you really want a video where I hunt opal? Why not? Opal That'd be fun, even though it's not the best hunting. I'll do it. Like, it'd be fun. I'll do it. I'm gonna go to every. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna I go to what? every liquor store in Auburn, Opelika. We should have a Jill versus TJ in Opelika. No, no, we need to go to Columbus for that. Oh, okay. We need to go to Columbus for that, for sure. Okay. Well. Uh, this is okay. This is all right. Now, my taste buds are a little off. So, it's definitely skewing. Everything's skewing a little more kind of bitter tonight than I would normally like it. Um, this is pretty good, but it's skewing a little bitter like everything has. Oh, back when we went to San Francisco, Bruzel wasn't a thing, was it? Bruzel didn't exist when didn't I went exist. to San Francisco. That was 2019. Didn't exist. Yeah. So, um, we, it was more of a work thing. He said, his, uh, Anton says his brother lives in the valley. Lots of hard to find bourbons just sit on the shelves there. Mm, like, you should have been it. bourbon hunting back I then. I doubt it. We should go. <laughs> we should go back because I would love to go back. Uh, so, we're coast. doing some distillery videos, Dragon. Just haven't came out but yet. it's around barrel picks. And so, we've got some filmed. We're waiting for the barrel picks to come out to release the video because we want to make sure the barrel picks sell out. Uh, I think patrons will take them, but we're also just kind of coordinating it with barrel picks and some of their more regular release stuff that might be available for folks that can't pick it up. Now, we're focused on small distilleries more than anything right now, but we're doing that. We're just waiting for months for, like a lot of those have been filmed for months and months and months, and we're just waiting for the barrel picks for the videos to drop. That's our patron that couldn't make it to the hospital. Five dollar super chat. Miss seeing you. Uh, yes, you, we missed it. It went well. And if you were on that pick, I know we had we had a, one or two people back out. Um, and if you missed that pick, you really missed. I don't. Want, I mean, I'm not trying to rub it in, but you really missed out on a fun one. Like probably the best one. Not probably the best pick so far. Mm -hmm. Like the most fun pick so far that I've been on. This and is. We've a, had some really awesome ones. Like I, we've had some really great ones. 
This is a Virtue Spirits hat, yes. Is that the Bourbon Junkies? The Bourbon Junkies brand. brand. I have a bottle of Virtue Spirits, too. You want to sniff that one? I'll sniff it. I'm not sure. Oh, this is oh, Wool Cup. That's, okay, that, you have a bottle of theirs? The Bourbon Junkies? Uh, I thought this was pretty good. It's pretty good. My palate, like I said, my palate's a little off tonight, so it's skewing a little oak here. But overall, I think that's actually really good whiskey. Um, I would, I'm going to try to, we're going to blind this with like a 1792 Ooh. foolproof one night or something. We'll have to do that. What Aww. bourbon surprised you the most high and low? His son's the one that came back and was sick. And they, he couldn't oh, come. that sucks. Yeah, I'm that so sucks. I'm sorry. I, I saw those emails going back and forth. maybe on a future one you can But get your, son, your son really cost you on that one, my friend. That's all I could tell you. Like, that was a lot of fun. You missed some great hamburgers, a great tour, some great whiskey, that and a lot of fun. Good. Um, well, hopefully we can get you in on the next time. Yeah, like keep submitting. Yep. Um, so what bourbon surprised you the most high and low, Cameron says. Um, yes. As far as like low, it's hard to surprise me low because I have, like I just don't go in with a lot of expectations. There are a few, like Elmer T. Lee. Like Elmer T. Lee's a fine bourbon, but it's getting like $300, $350 secondary hype. I don't think I like it better than just Buffalo Trace. Like, I don't know if I like it better than some of the benchmark stuff. So that one probably, like, just because my expectations were super high for that bottle, and it was just okay. Uh, as far as surprise me good, it, it's got to be that like that Frey Ranch pick has got to be in there. Um, although that Frey Ranch pick is considerably better than most Frey Ranch yeah. picks. Um, outside of that, oh, the, well, the holiday stuff really surprised me. The bottle and bond, like once I'd had the bottle and bond, the soft red wheat met expectations. The bottle and bond was really good. This Crittenton, somebody gave me that one. I had really low expectations. Small distillery in Mississippi. I didn't think that'd be good, um, but it was. Out the the barrel craft spirits, like orange label store picks, are expensive. But like I didn't expect to love those as yeah, much as I, I have our either. Pick. Our pick, the our pick the delicious. total wine pick we have is fantastic. That's another one that I would have said. Well, you probably can't get anymore because we're done. We're finished with that. But it's what. What's up, Spicing? What's the proof on ours? Do you know? Um, I, I don't. One hundred fourteen, one hundred nineteen, oh, okay. something that's like that. Little, that's nope. a little too much. For just starting out. It's 113.6 mm -hmm. is what it says right there. See, I can read that. Look right there. Little bitty font. 113.6. I can read that, but I can't read this crap. That's because you need the glasses. And that has light on it because the light's shining up, on it over there. Up front. Great store picks is where you find value. That's true. That's true. Um, honestly, we never made it into the gift shop. But we do have the Irish cream. So let me, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab the Irish cream right now. A lot of folks have been mentioning that. The Irish cream, If yeah. my mic cuts well, it comes off, Jill. That's a really cool bottle. Keep them entertained, Jill. Keep I'm going to Jill. I'm going to try to grab this Irish cream. I don't know if my mic will cut off. Yeah, we did get the Irish cream, and it's really good. Let's see. <laughs> I had to glue my stopper back on to the cork for it cut above. <laughs> well, that, so we have, I have a cut above I took to the Bourbon Junkies thing, and same thing, the freaking cork came off, like the, the, the thing came off the cork, the little like plastic thing up top, so I had the same problem. Um, apparently, whiskey good, cork's no bueno. So the Irish cream... I don't have any like Bailey's Irish cream or anything like that, but Whoa. that's a great bottle. Yeah. With the flip top, we got sideburns. That's good. Sideburns. Um, so this is single batch Irish cream liqueur. Oh, wow, look at that. And I don't know what to do with an Irish cream. I'm going to be straight with y'all. I have no freaking clue what to you do with this other coffee. than just drink it. I don't drink coffee. I put it in my so, coffee. Um, but this is from Holiday. And they sent us a couple of bottles of this along with a couple of their cash straight Rick House proof stuff. Ooh, the lady made on this tour made pies. Yeah, that's what you were telling me. Somebody said she made pies. But I don't, I don't drink coffee. I don't make pies. I eat pies. So if somebody will make me a pie with it, I will eat. I'll make eat, you a pie. I will, when? I don't know. 
don't know. I don't Next have Monday. We have no groceries in the house. Next Monday, am I having a pie with this? On the live? On the live. I want a pie with this Irish cream. Yes. Find me an Irish cream pie. Next Monday, we'll make a pie. And with I'll With this make Irish a pie. cream. And yes, there we go. Okay. Definitely. Pour it on your cereal. Oh. I don't really. We, don't we do have some magic spoon up there. We do have some magic spoon. So it, it tastes good. Mudslides. Oh, yeah, mudslides. It would be good in that. You're right. Mm -hmm. So like all Irish cream, it's not this Irish cream. All Irish cream has that kind of like malted milk flavor to it a little bit. Like, you know, just kind of tastes a little bit like vomit. <laughs> Infinity barrel. <laughs> but it's still delicious vomit. Like, it's it's still good. It still has that little bit of like. Thing. Offness that, that comes with together. a milkiness. Ooh, make a white. It's all Russian. of them. It's not just this one. White Russian. What's it in white Russian? Somebody give me a recipe for a white Russian, and we'll try. Hey, we are at time right now. If somebody gives me a white Russian recipe right now, and I have the ingredients, we I know. will make it and try it before we get <laughs> onto that. If it takes Spring anything from our bokey? kitchen, we have no groceries. Oh, no, we no, have no, no food. I think it's Kahlua and we Bailey's Irish cream and something, right? And then what it is, somebody give me, I, I have it. White. Mint liqueur and Irish cream? Russian. A white Russian is made with vodka, coffee liqueur, and cream. We got those things. How much? Give me recipes. Hold on, babe. We uh, got to get to it. One two-third ounce vodka. Okay. One ounce fresh cream. Two-thirds ounce coffee liqueur. Look at there. We do have it. I'm not shaking it or doing any stupid stuff to you it. You gotta stir it at least. I'll stir it. I will do that. All right. You need a. You, you yeah. Need a here, cook. right here, okay. right here. This one do. I got one right. There we go. Here's you a stir. A stirrer. All right. You gotta read those ingredients again. Okay, I, I will. It's one ounce, one two thirds ounce vodka. Two thirds of an one ounce of vodka. One and two thirds. Oh Lord. That's a lot of vodka. How am I supposed to? One and two thirds. I don't have the, a measurement for that. Daddy says one ounce of vodka. So just do one ounce of vodka. I think that's better. I like that better. I one like their. One ounce of vodka. Let's one follow their their ingredients here. Of Kahlua, and one ounce of the milk. So one ounce of each. So we just straight. We're gonna go with Natty Wits recipe because that just is easy to see and do. Oh, that Kahlua smells awful. I'm gonna be straight with you. Really. I don't like coffee liqueur. I don't like coffee anything. I love coffee. The only reason I have coffee in the house is because I bought some in a coffee shop in Utah. The only reason you have coffee in the house because you love freaking coffee. Yeah, but I have no groceries, so I have no of my. And I don't have any of my regular coffee. Oh no, y'all talking about no groceries? Y'all want to talk about some some Hackenville redneck <laughs> shit upstairs? You go into the bathroom upstairs, and on the toilet paper roll is a roll of paper towels. And it's like on the roll, like you're like, uh, come on. I was like, what in the redneck? We you, came back home. I told Jill, I was like, get some, get some toilet paper. She went to the store. She didn't get any. And then she's like, oh, somebody, Jackson's going to bring some up. He did not. I forgot. And so now she used a roll of tel or paper towels for toilet paper hey, in like half the house. Better than nothing. You know, if you got to go, you got to go. Better than nothing. It needs to be cold. Well, the Irish cream has been in the refrigerator. Needs ice. I don't I'll have get ice. ice. Fine. I'll get it. grab a grab a glass over there. I have a little bit of ice. I will get ice. Now I'm gonna get some ice. We're gonna do it right. If we're what gonna do it, let's do it here? halfway right. Not completely right. Oh, like this. Like I don't want to go all the way right, but I want it to be part will of the way right. Will this glass work? I don't know. Close enough. <laughs> I've gone into the yes. grate underneath. The cupboards are bare. The cupboards are really, really We've bare. been gone for 17 days in our defense. Yeah, and we're going tomorrow, so the kids are going to be here with my mom, and they asked me just a while ago, they're like, how are we going to survive tomorrow? We have nothing here. <laughs> I said, I'll get up in the morning and go get you stuff. What I know is that I bought Jill a barrel of whiskey for our anniversary, and she's not even going. You told me I am not going. going. I don't, you keep saying you're not going. I said I was going. I just said I was going. Cold I'm, it is. Y'all demanded cold and ask and ye shall drink receive. Drink it before it curdles. Ugh. Oh, what did you miss, Zachary? Everything. You missed it all. That's pretty good. I think the Kahlua is a little too strong. I think the like, like, it's just a little too much. Yeah, there's something in there. That, I like think it's, it's just, the vodka. It, no, it's the Kahlua. 
That the great thing about this drop time is it's a it's a full like corn vodka, so it's like super sweet, oh. and it doesn't like some of the vodka I have down here. It doesn't have that like really strong kind of vodka flavors to it. It's a little sweeter. It really blends into the drinks a little more. But add more cream. It could use more cream. Like the Kahlua is just a little too strong. Overall, still pretty good. I'm gonna finish this drink over in the live voice chat for our channel supporters. So if you added yourself to the patron, link your Discord, you should be able to find the uh, supporter um, audio chat. It's gonna take me, give me five or six minutes to shut all this down and figure all this stuff out. And then we will see y'all over on Discord. So appreciate everybody hanging out. This Bye, was a everybody. fun live stream, a little different for us. Should be live next Monday. I don't see any reason why we, why we wouldn't be. What's next Monday? Um, it's still August. If it's still August, we'll be live. So I, I might miss the first week of September. We'll see. I may be flying to Canada for that one. Um, but we should be should be good to go. So otherwise, we will. Um, the twenty eighth. Jonathan, we'll be here. take it easy. See y'all later. Bye, and, everybody. Uh,